Uh, I want to see how his survivability is because he's got terrible HP. Um, he is one of the hardest hitting creatures now. He's like, excuse me, madam, I'm not a creature. But he is a hard hitter uh, for chapter four. And I just want to kind of go around all the NPC camps and the dungeons or start with dungeons and see how he survives. Things like the wine cellar where you can get kind of surrounded by a bunch of people. He did quite well in Azagoth. Um, the problem with my testing is um, I do a huge amount of damage because I put a lot of points in agility and use agility weapons and I buff myself um, with salted exquisite meat and elixir of grace and I just I hit very very hard um, and I feel like the average player who may like balance out their points a bit more um, if you put like more points in expertise which I feel like a lot of people do um, or maybe some points in authority um, may find that they die a bit more easily we'll see we do have the new flea command which you can triple click I guess it won't do it not showing it there is a means um to rebind the keys apparently um key bindings key bindings mm. because i do find like tr uh, clicking e three times in the middle of um combat is a bit of a pain in the butt flee so I guess if I just bind it to something, what shall I use, peeps? Q? Oh, that's target lock. No, we can't do that. Um, hmm. Should we try caps lock? I'm not going to chat, am I? Let's get into let's get into scrapes. Do, 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 do. There should be scorpions over here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if it's worked. I don't know if I have to press save or something. I've just missed something. Okay, I'm not seeing the commands come up on the screen. Am I missing something? He just does too, he does too much to that creature. Yeah, it worked. I press, it pressed it. I did click hide GUI, GUI before. Yeah, so I've, I've now got it on my caps lock. Okay, so I think in a pinch, I think that's going to be better for me rather than triple clicking in the air. Uh, it also means I'm not going to, like, interact with stones and things in the game. All right, well, which which dungeon should we do first? Should we work our way up? Let's go to, um, what is it called? The Dregs first. We'll do it all vanilla, but I'm going to TP around. There we go. A new streak underway. Ah, 10 streams. Thank you, lovely. It's already corn. I just have to cook it. I see you're going to cook corned beef. I've got you. Understood. All right. Let's test this fellow. Dun, dun, dun. How are you all doing? Have you played on the beta? What are your thoughts? I did ask for some feedback because I was going to give some feedback to Funcom um, on the community page on YouTube. So if you want to have a look at that uh, and add your thoughts to it, I would appreciate it. I'm kind of interested to see what you think about the chapter four beta so far what are you excited about what are you disappointed about that kind of thing yeah there we go so it's it's showing up now i think because i had done hide gui just before the stream um the commands weren't coming up but yeah caps is easy for me to click um and i'm not going to be typing anything uh unless i'm in a menu or something um oh, the new river music makes me instantly happy so he's already buffed He's in his very good strength gear. All of this. I've been through it before. I'm not going to run through the whole thing today because I'm exhausted. Um, but he's buffed with cooked pork rinds, which he's eaten, uh, and uh, black lotus potion. Uh, he's got lasting feast as his healing food because you don't. it doesn't require eggs to craft, uh, to craft it. Um, and eggs are going to be harder to get hold of in Chapter 4 because um, they're taking away the ability to use a tool to harvest items on the ground like branches no longer so no longer can you harvest branches on the ground with, an ha with a hatchet or whatever tool you were using nor can you use it on the bugs I haven't tried that but I'm assuming that works that still doesn't yeah so again that doesn't work 
Um, which makes sense, right? I guess it was a bug they have now addressed rather than taking out something that um, should have been in the game but they just decided to take it away. Um, but the only problem with that is the best healing foods require eggs, these two here. An exotic feast and enhanced gruel. And you need one for every single piece of the food. So if you have to just pick up one egg per exotic feast or per enhanced gruel, um, it's going to be a pain in the butt, really, to have that as, as your main healing food for thralls. And if they've been nerfed, I kind of, I think we need another way to get hold of eggs. So, um, somebody said to me, you you know, don't shoe bills or ostriches give them to you in the animal pen, and they don't. I tested that. So I would like it if they would add that as a function, or maybe at some point in the future give us some kind of chicken coop. You know, chicken coops in the exile lands would be kind of cool. Are you guys going to see me? I'm cloaked. That's because we were testing um, temperature stuff. Oh, I love being spec like this. It, the Dalfari are perfect one shots um, with this build. As long as you can hit them. Okay, that one did a fatality, so they were technically dead. Another fatality. Can I get here in time? Yeah. There we go. That's new for chapter four as well. I'm enjoying the fatalities. I'm interested to know what you think. I've done a lot of giving my opinions. Oh yeah. It's so satisfying. I don't even need to use hardened steel arrows probably. So enemies will go into a dazed state once they... Uh, basically when you, when you perform a final blow... Um, so uh, the killing blow, something that would have killed them. They go into a dazed state. And as long as you start your fatality by clicking left click or whatever, as long as you're not in a combo, it doesn't matter what your thrall does, you won't kill them, generally speaking. Um, but I kind of like it. You do get a buff. It buffs your agility by 15%. Oh wait, that's my thingy. It buffs your agility and, and strength by 10%, stamina, regener uh, stamina regeneration by 15 and instantly heals 20% of your health if you've lost any. Which is kind of cool. I kind of like it. It feels kind of fun. I mean, I imagine I might not enjoy it as much once the novelty wears off. But you can do it quite often. As long as your thrall doesn't steal your kill. If, if, if I had uh, started my kill beforehand, there we go, we got another one. The different weapons have different animations. I sliced him in twain, friends. Literally in twain. Okay, I started it, so he's not doing anything. Sometimes he'll try and take the hit, like, do the hit. Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. I'm interested in what loot we find as well. But I want to kind of visit all the dungeons just to see if there's anything changed. Um, and I want to look at loot because loot has changed. They've started adding padding to boss drops. Um, both uh, perfected and non-perfected, depending on where you get them from. So world bosses, you'll find perfected heavy padding or different perfected paddings. Different, different weights. What a sound, what the, uh, the modification. I wish there was, um, a, a hand, what is it called? Um, melee. No, not melee. Unarmed. Oh, shizzles. I killed everybody. Damn it. Do I spawn somebody in? I... Okay, listen. Is there nobody alive? Can I put you on, a, on hit nobody? Um, passive, passive. Okay, so this is a new interface for um, commanding thralls. No longer is it hold down E and then behavior, engagement, that kind of thing. Now it's just click on here and you can see what they're set to, which is kind of nice. Um, you might need to kind of adjust to it a little bit, but you can see this is the general combat tactic is to hold, as in stand your ground, to chase or to flee. Um, and then there's following behaviour and guarding def de uh, behaviour. So generally I put them on aggressive for here. Defensive should be, be like the old guard me, um, which we used to have as the default before we had to follow a command, where you had to instigate the fight before they would attack. I might have to spawn somebody in because um, 
I went and killed everybody, unfortunately, which I don't think I've ever done before. And unarmed, that's it, unarmed, yeah. Let me just spawn in a Dafari because I failed to... It doesn't matter who it is. There we go. Okay. I mean, that was a black hand Dafari, but, you know, they should open now. Uh, it doesn't work if you spawn them in. That's interesting. That's weird, isn't it? Um... This is a bug. I guess we just reload the area. Maybe it's because of the fatality. Maybe that's a bug with fatalities. Right, let's reload the area. That, did I do anything else that you're thinking of? So it's picky about what blood you feed it. Apparently, I think because we... Um, let's reload this place. Um, I don't know if, we'll, if I... Mm, let's go out of render range. Yeah, so I think because the, the final blow is a fatality, that's why it didn't work. Hmm... Interesting. Hello, Lumito. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Happy It Ain't Monday, all of you. <laughs> Indeed. Same to you. Oh, Amberlight -like mod adds quarter staffs. Uh, quarter staves with their own models and attack animations, semi fatality animations. Does it? An armed wouldn't be too much of such a modest point. I would be. I think it would look really cool, especially for like a savage game like Conan Exiles, for us to have an unarmed one, wouldn't it? You could just like bash its skull in, like with your fists or something from both sides. Okay, let's see if we survive. If we just run all the way through, and fight on the thing, I think we we should be okay. We're pretty strong. <laughs> bum, bum. I don't think it was the type of person. I think it's the killing blow being a fatality. Which is an interesting bug, which is why we do this, right? The purpose of the beta. Go and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Poor. Poor Spiny. There we go. There we go. So I guess we could try that again. Should we test it again? See if we can re um, get the bug to happen again. Did you unmute your phone? Uh, I, it's not even muted. I just failed to mute it. Uh, thank you for remi remembering, though. Can you, you can be my carer today, Cal, as if you're not already. Let me just plug my phone. It's only 5%, actually. Oh, I'm excited. I, just, I forgot about the food. Hootkeys. Um, ba -da 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 -da. I just want to see if we can recreate it. Did I go like ridiculously far? Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, I went a bit far, didn't I? Da, 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 da. Bum, 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 ba, da, da. The reason I'm not just reloading the area and like respawning exactly in the same place is probably more because I'm used to doing it with uh, El, El Mariah. Um. Because it's just sometimes it helps to look like to render it in by like leaving the area and then kind of being a bit closer, I guess. Okay, I, I've got to see if I can get a fatality now. Oh yeah, oh that yeah. So I've got to like yeah. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll try that another time, I guess. I don't want to do it, like, multiple times. Oh, second of all, I always thought getting her to say ain't would lull her into saying that word. Well, we say we say ain't in this country as well. There's a lot of people who would say, say ain't here. The other word is definitely not British. You know what I mean? I have nothing against you, friendos, but I shall not be Americanized. <clears throat> we'll see, shall we? Anyway. Right. 
So, this is the dregs. This is not going to be like a, a guide to the place, but we'll see because there should be a boss over here. Um, you can... Oh, am I going to just tell you a few things, I guess? Um, I clicked on the tablet as I came in. That teaches you dredger, and that enables you to get this... Use this goop to make a torch. We've got some potions in here. Okay, I do want to look at loot, so I kind of want to go around all the places. Um, so, yeah, use a sickle on that goop, and you can make yourself one of these glowing goop sticks whatever it's called glowing torch so it should be a boss over here i kind of want to fight it by myself actually i have fed back that um the croc boss kind of still needs a bit of like work um i want to see how the big salamander is i'm not in creative now where's the the boss Hmm. These are like bebbers. Maybe he's just not spawned in yet. I do feel very quick, I have to say, and I just like that a lot. I want to be fast and dangerous. You know what I mean? Lots of damage, quick movement makes me very happy. So I'm enjoying this. Where is it, people? It's supposed to be here. Squirrel. I wonder if they've taken the boss out. The, the, yes, the thing that frustrates me about the beta is when the patch notes don't reflect all the changes and so you kind of have to like second guess. It might just be that he just hasn't spawned in. I would say that's probably most likely. If you had a boss, I don't know why you would take it away because you could just avoid him if you wanted to. But it, is, it was another means to get hold of a um, skeleton key, wasn't it? So we might again reload. These guys turn very fast. But fortunately, I move quickly too. Should be rewarded for putting all your points in agility. If you're going to spend the points. It's worth being rewarded, isn't it? Look at that turning. Okay, I'm just killing him too quickly. <laughs> I mean, it's not realistic, is it? You know, if you're going to go for, like, realism... You're trying to make it tougher. This this tracking is still not right. So, yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. He's like a freaking... It's like we're trying to wind a clock. Look at it. What is this skill you have? What is it? <laughs> it's not right. To, to every season. Oh, don't get that song stuck in my head. It's a good song. Running into you in my current... I'm running into you in my current game. Are you here in your current game? Is that what you mean? Yes, so I don't know where the boss is, um, so shall we see if we can get him to appear? Spinus is like, put me in coach, put me in, let me do some damage. Um, so I guess we'll we'll reload into this dungeon again. Doing proper testing here. Um, Anna, Anna isn't American! And it's scandal, isn't it? Anna is not American with that incredibly broad American... Where, where would I have an accent? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you went into an Annabriella in Elden Ring. Did you? Really? Right, follow me, people. So I've got to make sure the only person I kill on here is with a fatality to re... Um... Okay, wait. Sir, so you are... Would you stop killing people? I do apologise. Okay, the ghost is showing us the thing. Are they? Follow me. Right, if you could give me a fatality. Because that's what I need. No. With a bug. Okay. You know I only have so much patience. Oh, wait. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. Right, so we're hoping the salamander creature is here. We are Anna, you will Briellid. <laughs> You'll be Briellid. That's funny. Get Briellid. Um, do I see a boss? I don't see a boss. So anybody who's been playing on the live version of the game 
you, you have you seen the salamander recently? Because I didn't play for about two months. Oh, it's so creepy. I don't like it. I have like this absolutely crippling fear. Oh, oh gosh, I can't even begin to tell you how that makes me feel. Oh my god. Um, that gives me absolute paralyzing anxiety. I'm so scared of the sea, and that makes me think of like the deep sea, which is like my worst fear. Oh, I'm just gonna take some deep breath. <laughs> you can check. I can check in a minute. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Let me know if you see it because we've loaded in and out of this area. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll run the gauntlet. We'll do this dungeon and we'll see if he's there when we come out. Because it might be that he just hasn't loaded in properly. I was just wondering if maybe he was in textures or something like that. Um, but he was added in chapter three? Question mark two. I want to say chapter two of the Age of War. Um, where they changed the dungeons and loot. I think that was two. I'm happy to be corrected. So let's just run the gauntlet see what happens. Thalassophobia, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thalassophobia. I'm like, yeah. Ark. I, I, so, I really like survival games, as you will know if you're regular here. And Ark has like a fantastic sea, hasn't it? With like lots of dangerous creatures and fun creatures and all sorts of stuff. I, I just, I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I did go in the sea once when I did Fjorda. Well, I did a couple of times at the surface level. Um, there we go. Have a little bit of a nice, refreshing swim in sewer water. My favourite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hi. Now we're kind of. This is a dungeon for much lower level people. We should, we should plow through these people like um, a farmer. This is why I shouldn't stream when I'm really tired. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm gonna keep him on passive because I I just want to kill them myself, really, and he'll just kill them so quickly. So the skeletons now have like skeleton loot. I want to see if there's padding and stuff in here. There should be from the world bosses. <laughs> just ignore me, people. She's delirious. Hello, Renato. Hello. How are you doing today? I have Salamander, but also have mods. Okay. Thank you, Buttspot, for making me almost read that one first. Okay. But the Salamander should be there. I don't imagine that they... I don't get why they would remove it, so I suspect... Um... Because I have been here so many times... Um, I forget to go to the spider place. So I run through and then I remember that I'm supposed to go to the spider. I don't think I've reached the spider yet. Oh gosh, that's why we have, that's why we have butt spot, I know. So, is the spider like, coming up on the, on the right? I haven't reached it yet, have I? At least I remembered before we got to the end of the dungeon. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's rise up. Come on, lady. There we go. So, spider is here, question mark? I would like to be able to, like, just... Eh. Yeah. <laughs> But it doesn't let you because it counts its climbing. I haven't missed a spider, have I? It'd be nice if you didn't skid when you stop moving in this game now, like this. It's been a, been a problem for ages, hasn't it? And it's it's kind of immersion breaking. All right, so we've got to hit both of these, haven't we? Uh, Tweaky, thank you for gifting a sub to Holoquinzy. Thank you very much. It's very nice of you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Okay, let's get the second one. And then 
go up here. Arise, lady. Bum, ba -bum, bum. Um, it can be so beautiful or not. Yeah, I, yeah. I hear you, and I'm sad that um, I just, like, fail to enjoy the sea in that game. But I'm just crippled with fear. Okay. Oh, here we go. That happened quickly. Go, 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 go. Okay, spider. Yes. Okay, I didn't forget spider. So let's let's fight it by ourselves. I want to check what loot it drops in its bod. So the spider turning radius and whatnot speed has changed. See the fact that it's got we've got spiners here is a bit of a cheat. But I think all the spiders have the same attacks. Are you alright there, buddy? I actually find them easier to fight solo because you don't have to... There's less working out. <laughs> you don't have to, like, guess as much about um, which direction they're going to go in. So even though they have different skins, these spiders, they should, they should all attack the same. Apart from, like, the corrupted spider. That's usually how it works. Yeah, Spinus, I shouldn't have brought you in here. Ba -da -da. These are the heart's blood daggers, which apply a bleed and a gouging, which is a stackable debuff. So just tick damage. Really good on a flesh creature like this. Okay, so the loot... We still get in uh, taxidermy, well, are they taxidermy? Carcasses, which is good. Um, you can put those in a fluid press and you can get um, blood, hide, bones, things like that. Uh, we got Akbitan and throwing uh, thingies and we got this, uh, what's it called? Katana, right? Um, which I won't use probably ever. I don't, I don't know what it is about me in katanas. I kind of liked them for a bit when I started doing agility builds, but I just really, really like my Baltier's razor. Um, I just feel so at home with this, with this, with this creature. I like the cleave that I get from it. The one thing I don't have, and then I have the hammer, which I like to use for bosses a lot of the time, um, because it stacks sunder. Um, I just really, really like it. It's, um, because it's an agility hammer. What I'm lacking is a, um, a glowing agility weapon or a one-handed agility weapon that I enjoy. Um, I think the short sword is better than it was um, because of the way they changed kind of turning and stuff in the game. Um, we should harvest him and see what we get, just to kind of double check. Skeleton keys, demon blood, feral flesh, normal stuff. Okay. The reason I've got um, ice is because we might go into the volcano. Okay. Sweet. Onwards, friendos. Um, there's no chests in here, I don't... Is there chests in here? Okay, crappy loot. That looks like loot that hasn't been updated. D don't you think? That looks like a loot table that hasn't been updated that's been missed out because I think didn't they say you're not supposed to get crafting ingredients like that like that kind of thing basic crafting ingredients anymore hmm it looks a lot better it, yeah definitely is a lot better it's much less crazy super well like thank you for the prime welcome in welcome welcome um all right onwards friendos let's fight some skellingtons Spinus is really just decorative at this point because I just I he'll just kill everything too quickly. And he's I don't have to worry about him dying in here. Um in the higher level dungeons we will be wanting to use him a lot more. What I'm gonna do is just double check my email because it's a Tuesday. Oh yeah, I got an email. Yep. And I haven't had a thing saying it's not coming. Okay. Sweet. That's about the food skis. We'll walk around. 
So yeah, I would love a one-handed agility axe. That would make me very happy. Um, because I love, I love the axe. The axe was like my favourite weapon before I started playing agility builds. The festering one was my favourite uh, axe from the Unim City. My every playthrough, I would be trying to get that. Up. I just really enjoy using the hammers. Spineless. Listen, he's from the volcano. He can take a beating. Do you know what I'm saying? He's fine. Hello, Stackvik. How are you doing? How goes it? Agility. Agility hammer. Yeah. I love it. It's amazing. Lots of damage. Uh, really good on bosses. I tend to like use this on um, humans a lot because it's so quick. Uh, to kill them. This I really like on bosses. I like to do like heavy, heavy, like a heavy attack. And a roll. Heavy attack and a roll. Just kind of keep moving around. It's super fun. Um, uh, left, isn't it? I think. Do One of the nice things about those glowing torches, if you've never been in this dungeon, the, the torch that you learn the recipe for at the beginning, is the, the torch works in the water. Um... Which is quite nice. What I like about this is if you're with a friend, if you play with other people or you're on a server and you're going somewhere together and you need to follow each other, it's night time in the Exile Lands or Sitter. And this helps you when you go into the water to kind of keep track of who's who you're with. That's what I really like it for. Or for like, um, what is it called? The swimming dungeons and things like that in Sipta. You don't really need a torch in Dagon because it never gets dark. Did I do the thing? Yep. Mmm, sewer water. Hello, hello. What's the, what's today's agenda? We're, um, we're running around dungeons and seeing if Spinus dies. But I also want to check loot tables and things like that. I want to see what's changed. Um, he's just really like following me around like a like a nice handbag right now. Um, because this is such a low level dungeon. We don't really need him to fight. And you know. 13 Grillo to spot a nice drop. Um, hi there, handsome. So pretty. You look so well today do something to your hair hi hi there so i should be able to take a few like slaps from this turd will it uh, otherwise you probably should bring um you should probably bring a shield if you're like low level and this is a low level dungeon really i'm just gonna wait for it to like hop onto this thingy do some wallops with the hammer So you can, you can either shoot arrows or you can just try to avoid the spit, which is acid. And don't go in the pond with it because that's, that hurts in there, chat. Oh, I dodged you. I'm too quick. I'm too quick. Which way are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm afraid. Okay, okay, okay. Which way am I going to go? Ooh, okay. Tears will it. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you very much. Nothing. Okay. A couple of hits left. Oh, oh, you're on the ropes, my friend. Oh. Oh, he's feeling sick. Oh, he's feeling queasy. Come on, then. Come on, then. Don't be afraid. Ooh. I actually got a little bit of that. It's quite wide, like, uh, splash. Come on, then. I don't want to waste my arrows or my bow durability, honestly. That's really my main reason for... There we go. A couple of hits. One. Two. 
and a little slack. Okay, let's harvest it. Staff of the trim roots, usual, usual stuff. Nothing unusual. Let's get rid of the heavy items. We're not here for that, we're here for the just general loot skis. Okay. I need a key. Okay, usual. Bessie's bow. What else did I get? Oh, the shield of Kutamun. This is the shield, which would have been handy probably for that fight. Lots of durability. Abysmal flesh. Some creatures, when you... I've got to click on that book to learn the recipes. Uh, abysmal flesh is useful for um, crafting some greater pets, basically, or whatever. Uh, the chain, I nearly always forget. Chain, 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 as a famous person once said. Uh, squirrel. Isn't it in here? It is in here, isn't it? There it is. Um, how did I get up there last time? Squirrel, because you can't, you can't climb this. Hello. How did I get up to it? I think Kay still listening when you're interested with the skidding drifting issue when you run and stop Squirrel. and the character keeps moving slightly. Fix likes to lock your frame rate to 60, at least it was previously. I don't think that's a solution then, is it really? Why would I lock my frame rate to 60? Um, but it's good to know there is a solution. This continuous moving is because of frame rate, is it? Jumping from the edge. Ah, I think we I think we did this, didn't we? That's it. That's it. That's it, that's it. That's how we did it. Everybody hold on to your butts. Not me though, otherwise I'll forget loose the chain. Can you grab the chain without without double jump? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I've never used double jump to get up here before. Dun 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 resourceful people will hear. Oh. Anyone like really scared of heights? I actually quite like heights. I don't know what that's about. Likes heights, hates the sea. Go figure. One of them is like the most dangerous. Ah, the sea is quite dangerous, I guess. It's really not worth coming up here, is it? Don't you think? If this is a Dolfari axe... What is that nonsense? Like a beginner's... I think this needs kind of improving. You know? This is really, like... Not great. Really annoyed with the fixes. Yeah, I want my 144. Good goodness. Yeah, without odd drifting. Yeah. Um, heard 42 F. <laughs> it's the sweet spot. Just ignore Calendros, won't you? I can get Blackbird tools on the Isle of Sitter. The um, Harpy... So if you look at my recent... Uh, stream where we went to Sipta actually showed where the harpy was above the judge um, at Lux New Luxor. Um, you have to kill the harpy a bunch of times, basically. Um, you're probably better off, though, using obsidian now because uh, blackbird tools and obsidian tools give you the same yield, and now that blackbird tools are not repairable and obsidian ones are. The only benefit to using blackbird tools is that you get an eight and a half minutes timer within Oil of Bounty. I feel like I'm reciting some like crazy information here. Um, yeah, the only reason to use an Oil of Bounty, uh, to use the blackbird tools is because you can use the Oil of Bounty and get eight and a half minutes on those, which you won't get with the obsidian tools. Otherwise, just make obsidian tools. There is a volcanic forge on Scepter. Those are my thoughts. But yeah, you can look back if you want to see where it is, but it's at New Luxor. You can see where it is from my VOD from like on the YouTubes. Try jumping from the edge. Of course I will. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Oh no, I can't. Wait, I'd have to like, how do I do this? I haven't got my, oh God. So the problem I've got is on the beta, I don't have crouch bound to my mouse. Here's a low level dungeon. It is a low level dungeon, but why would you come up here for this? I feel like this could be better. Do you, know, do you not think? 
We're gonna dive, but what is crouch for me then? C. Oh no! <laughs> I just can't do it without my crouch bound, bound to my mouse. I can do it perfectly. Um, I can try it. What is it? Okay. W space then C. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Are you happy? Diving is always a good option, yeah. So um, on the main version of the game, my G-Hub like situation, I have uh, have crouch spanned to my mouse and it's so much easier to do dives like constantly like whilst I'm running around. Otherwise I have to use both hands. Um, I mean, maybe not. I guess I, I'm doing it now with just my mouth, my, my keyboard, but it doesn't feel right. Okay, Dreg's done. Spinus, you were incredibly helpful. Uh, really an asset to this team. What next? Let's go to the Palace of the Witch Queen, shall we? Just to be thorough. Dun, da, 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 da. 9.8. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Fair. Absolutely fair. Um, let's use him now, shall we? Um, he's derping out a little bit. Don't embarrass me, Spinus. Come on, Olive. Still buffed. Let's go check out the shizzle in the Palace of the Witch Queen. It is weird, I think, that the Palace of the Witch Queen isn't isn't on the um, dungeon del delver journey. Because it is essential for crafting the keystone, isn't it? The, the mask of the Witch Queen. Um, they haven't had it, right? Yeah, so you would think the Dungeon Delver would kind of guide you to, like, free your character from the Exiled Lands uh, in some way, because that used to be a thing. If you want to learn how to do that, you can you can watch my video on YouTube called How to Beat the Game, which tells you exactly what you need and how to do it. Miss the actual Keystone Quest, was they hadn't dropped it. Yeah, I feel like it's an omission. I feel like... I feel like it needs to be... Like, because otherwise, how would you find out apart from, like, just watching every single video I ever make? You know what I mean? You should do that anyway, obviously. Uh, Anna wasn't flying. She was using the power of farts to levitate. Absolutely. Yep. Just eat your beans, people. Very important part of uh, gaming. Definitely. Sid dive. Yes. Frames have gone down to 40 down here. Oh, God. I just had that moment where your stomach goes into your throat and you think you're going to fall. <laughs> they link the staff to the key items to deliver it, which help with continuity. Yeah. I've never got the staff to tell me more than to go to the um, archivist. I never kind of used it past that. Um, let's eat some snacks. Dun, da, 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 da. This is such a beautiful dungeon. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh. Hi. How are you feeling, Spinus? Oh no, the door's closing! What will we do? Oh. <laughs> Hi, sir. Attack and eyes. Modifying. Let's see how many hits. Okay, I can't count that. <laughs> I can't lose it. Spinus can't even hit his foot. He's too little. Come on, Spinus. Do better. Okay, he's hitting him now. There you go. At a boy. Well, it must be safe now. Ooh. Just have to avoid these situations. Hey, Strago, hello. Thank you for gifting us up to fix him. Thank you, thank you. Levitating with flatulence. Oh my god. That means something else in this country. It's not going to read that out loud. Um, Tavjits insist on insulting my intelligence in most cases, well that's fair. All I remember is that the staff insulted the cleanliness of my, my, my place, you know. Anyone doesn't know what they're talking about, by the way. When you, um... When you complete the dregs, as we've just done, you get this staff. Take it to the Tower of Bats. 
follow instructions. There you go. I do have like a whole thing. If you watch my dregs guide, um, can I, shall I use fire with fire? Are you on your way? She's just going to suddenly teleport here, isn't she? There we are. Hi, lady. I always do this dungeon at some point in a playthrough because um, uh, you can learn this Lemurian armor from here. There you go, the Mask of the Witch Queen. Key to Rasmus Quarters. You want to take those. Um, there we go. Now we can run up here and you can click on the throne to learn the recipes. There we go. And that's about it. There's no, um, there's no legendary chests in this dungeon. Um, but I guess it's just too easy. I guess maybe they consider it to be too easy. And the dregs is harder now, isn't it? Because since they added um, the salamander. I mean, you don't have to fight the salamander or the spider. Um, so you can, yeah. But this, this, I think the skeletons probably make it harder. All right. Part of the Rich Queen experience seems exactly the same. Um, while we're in the jungle, it would be rude not to go to Dagon, wouldn't it? Uh, been a while. It's able to catch the mystery. Ah, uh, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So we don't have any swimming apparatus here. Um, my favourite is the Riptide. I'm going to treat, treat yourself. Um, which you can get from the bat. Um, she's cheating! I know, it's an outrage. You can get from the bat boss in the Unnamed City, which is this giant gr uh, this green blob. Clearly a green blob. This is, the, this is how bad the gaslighting is in this, in this uh, channel. This is a green blob, people. If you think it's orange, you're... you, Yeah. Colourblind, definitely. Um, yes, the, the aviary, where is it? Over here? Question mark? Yes, I think so. Anyway, the bat boss drops the riptide spear, which gives you underwater breathing when equipped. It's my favourite thing to use in uh, Dagon. And you can enter Dagon, that sounds weird, by clicking on this boat. There we go. Um, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. Okay. So now we have our underwater breathing situation. Let's make our way through the dungeon. So we're going to let Spinus do his fighting now. We're going to utilise him and see how he gets on. And hope he doesn't get killed. I know, I think he'll be okay in this one. I think really like the final fag fight in the wine cellar is the one that I would be most cautious about with any thralls. Um, but I just want to see how his survivability is because he hits hard. Um, but, you know... Usually I would bring a bearer around with me on these kinds of excursions. Oh, emote not found. It thought I was emoting. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh-oh. I, I don't have control of my character. Squirrel! I have a bug! Okay. Okay, I think I was just locked into his body or something. Um, okay, so he dropped an ancient Lemurian axe. You get the recipe from clicking on this. So, there you go. Sweet. Uh, he drops pearls. I'm, I might give you, I'm not doing a guide, but you pick up the pearls. You need them. There you go. That's fine. <laughs> it's like a half assed kind of guide. The only dungeon that doesn't show on the interactive Kona Nexus. It doesn't it? That's weird. Maybe they just haven't, yeah, maybe they just didn't update it after. Um, there's some cultists down there if you want to fight those. I'm not going to. There's more enemies if you want those. Bam, ba -dum, bam. Do, do, do. Greetings, Toad Wallets. Spanish, you're always trying to steal my fun. Do you know what I mean? Dun, da, dun, dun, dun. It's like, you wouldn't let me fight in the dregs at all. Now I can't do a really cool uh, dive. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, it's really difficult for me. No. I failed. Okay. Listen. I embarrassed myself. Because I don't have my key bindings. <laughs> Alright. So we got our Riptide Spear. So with the Riptide Spear you can, um, you can sw swim infinitely. Basically. Until you start getting hungry, thirsty and need to go home to the bathroom or something. But I like it. It basically does the same job as breathing potions without having to replenish those. But don't accidentally throw it, will you? Because I've done that so many times. 
Hi there. Okay, Spinus is approaching us. Right, yeah. So I let's test the the, the bow bug. Yeah, bow bug is still happening in um, Dagon. Just when you draw back your bow. Okay, now I'm gonna have some cook stuck in my head. Um, it, basically, the water comes up to like shoulder level, where it visually appears to. Just when you initially aim down. Yep. I think this is Cause Dungeon Call into Water. It's very cool, absolutely. Here's the tablet to click on for this one. Um, and this guy, you also want to take his pearls. Um, you know what I mean? There you go. Take his pearls. And then after that, make sure you harvest everybody. This is not a tutorial. This is just me, like, spamming out information because I can't help myself. <laughs> I'm not going to do a tutorial. This is just me, like, just running through here, checking stuff, seeing if everything's working properly. Hello, Perfect. Hello. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, usual stuff, I guess. I can look in to see where there's padding. We didn't see any padding in the dregs, did we? Um, on the world boss. The salamander. Oh, we didn't. I'll check the salamander again when we leave this place. Um, the chest should be, uh, like, money, right? Yep. Bunch of coins and chests around here, which is why it's nice to bring the riptide and you have as much time as you want. Okay, so let's go to this one here, right? Bum, bum. Missed, missed an hour already? Yes. I started at like six today. I was up so early today. It was insane for me. I was up at like 9am, which is, I'm such a night owl. So I had like three hours sleep and then I took like an hour nap with the kitty, which was heavenly. So I'm kind of slightly broken, but I do have coffee in front of me. Okay, uh, all these fish people you want to harvest with just any crappy tool you want and just get fish scales. Should I show you once? In case you've never been here before. There you go, scales of Dagon. You want to hit all these fish creatures like once and then make sure you click on this tablet and then the trident. And off we go on the tour. I'm not going to dive. <laughs> uh, it's fun when you splat. Yes, indeed. Dun, da, 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 da. Oh. I'm hoping that the bearer nerf doesn't happen yet. I'm hoping that they reconsider it or they don't just don't do it yet. Um, these are my thoughts. Apart from that, I feel like everything on the beta is kind of okay. I think combat feels fine again. I haven't, I'm not having any issues with anything. Um, now that we have the auto face on attack collection, um, I feel, I feel dynamic. I feel in control of my character. Um, they've adjusted some of the enemies, the, the, the worst offenders at pivoting. Makes you harvest all these fish people. Um... You know, apart from the croc boss, which still feels awful, and he gets still get hit, uh, stuck in his collision, um, and he pivots too quickly, or just generally crocodiles, um, then I think everybody's fine. Hi there, sir. Ooh, so angry. Oh, we would like to hit me. Oh, okay. Somehow I wasn't paying attention. I thought you were facing the other direction. Harvest him too, because he's a fish person. I'm not a fish person. Yes, you are. Okay. There you go. Dagon's breath recipe. Bum, 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 bum. It's been a long time since we played. Oh, this this dungeon. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favourites. It's kind of pleasant. I love going for a swim. I used to farm this a lot when fish traps were good. I miss those days. I used to want to farm. I used to like, um, I would have, you know, large 
um, a lot of you hear me say the same things over and over again because I talk about stuff I'm excited about, passionate about a lot. But um, I would have like a couple of the large wells from right from the beginning of me playing the game. As soon as we realised you could put fish traps in the large wells, I would always have a couple of large wells and it'd be full of fish traps and have loads of the uh, the rare fish and I'd have all the buffs going around, going on at the same time. Have a huge stack of buffs on the left side of the screen. Oh, you can't hit me. I want to see if Spinus comes in. There you go. There you go. Get in there, lad. In many iterations. Ooh. Great time for delivery. One sec, oops. It. We need an anime fed emote. Yes. Okay. Spinus is like, where have you been? This is just uh, queens in here. There we go. Nice, very nice. Okay. If I need to drink something, probably. Hello, Thorik. How are you doing? <gasps> the only dungeon I've ever done is a Drex, is it? I used to be kind of terrified of doing dungeons. Um... <laughs> When I first started playing, I don't think there were any dungeons I did without watching a guide first, until the wine cellar came out. And then I did that dungeon with a friend um, and had a wonderful time just kind of exploring. But we were very experienced players at that point and had good gear and it was fun getting lost and stuff, you know. It was good times. I do kind of crave more dungeons and things, proper, proper dungeons like this, you know, in the game. Dun we are gonna do our stuff all right lovely thank you thank you yeah we're just kind of going through the content really just kind of checking stuff see if anything strange crops up okay Be interesting if you two have fatality on one of those bugs. Hello? Okay, so he's in here. I have had problems with our thrall like following us into dungeons in the past. What is that AoE? These little critters you can pick up um, and you can have like a little pet. Not a little pet, but you can put it in the taming pen you can have a locust basically. Um, or you can just harvest them, kill them and harvest them for Ica, and they will just continue to spawn. There you go, locust spawn. You just take that home and put it in your animal pen. <laughs> I love that it says cute. Yeah. But harvesting these will give you loads of Ica. Oh, oh. Okay, yes, yes, yes. And putrid meat. Okay. Okay, listen, they're like, excuse me, I'm not even dead yet. Yes, you are. Did it used to be just Ica? Certainly get a lot. I'm on two times harvesting. This is a, a star metal pickaxe with uh, an advanced tool upgrade kit. But they should just continue to spawn in until... Yeah, I don't think you used to get putrid meat, but I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it used to just be Ica. Um, I'm going to drop the scales, but make sure you keep them. Make sure you, kill, uh, you harvest this fish person as well. That treasure is worth very little. Uh, so I'm not going to pick it up. And click on this tablet here which teaches you how to make the underwater improved fish traps so it's an important one to get really dun, 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 dun. Do, do, do. dungeons are too scary can't proceed anymore until i finish building my castle that's fair enough i think that's the nice thing about this type of game is you can progress at your own speed if you don't want to ever do all the content and in some ways it's kind of nice isn't it it's like I, I haven't finished the game you know it was a long time before I even did any dungeons actually apart from Palace of the Witch Queen which I did because I lived in the jungle with friendos I always second guess myself if I've done all of these like rooms 
It is so warm in here right now. Oh gosh, can't please me, can you? Suddenly the heating's working again. No, I'm just too warm. How fast I move, love that so much. Love it. I want to be dynamic and in control of my character as much as possible. There you go, harvest that fish creature, then you learn ancient Lemurian extracts from that, which is a healing potion. But you have to use the scales to make it, so I never bother. So we're just zigzagging our way through the dungeon. This is the final section over here. If you bring this Riptide, um, you might want to just swim around and explore this place. There's some kind of chests with gold, sort of, uh, in various places. I never, I don't have the patience to go and loot them all. Um, if you enjoy that, I mean, I have at some point. Um, but if you enjoy that, by all means, like, do your exploring and stuff. But the Riptide is great for that. Or underwater breathing potions, because then you can just infinitely pop those and... Um, stay underwater while you're searching. We're going to take a right. Greetings. Another fish creature. Because I'm in heavy armour, I really don't need to roll as much as I do with this kind of character. Kind of creature, enemy. Make sure you harvest him too. If you want to open these doors, um, pull the lever. There's prisoners in here who will fight you. Is there loot like uh, Duketto tablets? You can learn the uh, Duketto religion by consuming that, but I already possess the knowledge. Oh, do you see that? Oh, it's creepy. I don't, I don't like underwater. Uh, dyes, gold, repair kit. Um, you can't get locked in here. Oh, okay. Yep, so that is the second time we've had that issue. I've tried to instigate a fatality and I've gone into like an emote. It says emote not available or something. And I'm locked in place for a moment. I, I don't have control of my character. I can't roll, I can't jump. Can I just get out of the way by right clicking? Yeah, I still can't WASD. That is weird. So this is the second... Okay, I have, I have control now. She's like in this permanent state. So they, we found a bug, haven't we, which we've managed to recreate. The first bug with fatalities is we couldn't get into the dregs dungeon. She's like permanently just drunk now. Uh, first, uh, we couldn't get the dregs to open because the killing blow that would have been the blood to uh, on the altar to kind of open the dungeon was a fatality and it didn't work. She's just stuck like that forever now. Sorry, lady. Apologise. She's like, don't leave me here. Sorry. So you see they're closing now that we've done the thingy. So I, I, we haven't had that before today, that bug. I wonder why we're having it now. That's the second time that's happened. Bum, ba, bum, bum. Bum, ba, bum. Hi, punching daggers. Oh yeah, it's happened again. Okay, I've done a screenshot. So again, I'm like, I'm locked in place. So it's this dungeon, is it? I have a love-hate relationship with water levels that are visually very beautiful and compelling. Also trying to hold my breath as a character underwater is hard not to do. Yes, it is. Seeing that breath meets the spikes anxiety like crazy. I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, which is why I like the Riptide Spear, because it just may, allows me to just relax, you know? Definitely. So is this like a matter of time? I can't equip a weapon. I can't WASD. I can, like, I can right-click. But I can't, I can move my camera, but I can't use anything else. So I guess I could use this to move. I'm so far away from her. 
This is like, this is crazy, isn't it? I don't know what I did to get it to f like fix itself. I can't equip any, any item. Okay, I've got to regain control. And she's permanently like that. Should we go see if the other person is as well? She's still locked in her animation. No. She fell. Although maybe because I ran out of render range. It's just like... Okay, there she is. Alright. Okay. Well, there you go. We found a bug, people. Sometimes there's someone here and sometimes there isn't. I don't know what that's about. Just like sometimes I find someone isn't here. I wonder if they're in textures or something. Make sure you harvest these people. Uh, if you're doing this dungeon. All the fish people. I not you like last time to get unlocked when you open up the emoji. What unlock, sorry? Oh, I see. My inventory. So when I opened my inventory, it it unlocked me. I see. Okay, okay. I will test that next time that happens then. That's a good spot. Okay, harvest those people. We're nearly at the final boss area. I've done this place like hundreds of times probably. But look, you've got to fall down here, but do it in stages, otherwise you'll die. Unless you use like a slow falling potion. And you can like fall against the wall. You can't grab on because there's no climbing in dungeons. Uh, okay, we did, we kind of cheated a bit there. So the game will calculate your fall based on like the, the longest distance. If you can kind of n knock into something on the way down, um, like rocks and things, slides, things like that. It works with horses as well. You can mitigate a lot of damage that you've taken. Okay. Don't be scared of the giant fish. It's like my life advice really. Okay, let's top up our shizzles. Um, my, um, I just, I can't not tell you the things. So um, my biggest suggestion really with this dungeon, with this final boss area, is bring a bow. <laughs> Don't be alarmed by the water rising above your shoulders, it's just a visual bug. But um, kite these people over one by one. Otherwise you end up in a big fight like this. I've shown you we kiting them a bunch of times. Where's the fun in there? So if you just yeet in here, everybody will come and fight you at once. You get all those bosses from earlier. But I, sometimes I like the chaos. And we are supposed to be testing Spinus. Try and eliminate as many people as possible. Alright. You just want him focusing on one fight. There we go. Make sure you harvest these bodies too. Spinus can drink a potion. I could just admin um, heal him up, which is just quicker, but he doesn't have enough health for me to care about that too much. It's just as easy to do these. There we go. So that was very, very, very quick, I have to say, because he does a lot of damage, um, which is going to be the key to his survivability, really. But you have to babysit him. And then this lady is, she does, she does quite a lot. And there's a couple of friendos behind her, uh, beside her. Deal with these people. She will stack a lot of bleed on you very suddenly. She's quite scary. Just for that reason. Just like a rhino can kind of launch itself at you and suddenly you have a big stack of bleed. about this game is 
you can have a really good thrall who has enough HP, does loads of damage, and then something like this can happen. He should not die to her, should he? He's got a 15 stack of bleed on him. And if I don't intervene, and if I wasn't babysitting him, he could easily have died to just her. She's not like, you know, the biggest boss in the game. And he is really one of the best fighters right now in terms of damage. So this is a useful test, I would say. Mr. I never said the word. I, s I never said. Oh, you did. Calendros. Oh, my God. I've just seen that. All right. Write it in a sentence and I will say it. Thank you, Calendros. <laughs> I was like, nobody redeemed it. <laughs> Every time you mention we're testing Spinus, I think t STD test and hope it comes up. Negative. Ah, oh, goodness me. I've been re-watching House recently, actually. So, like, yeah, I know exactly what we're talking about. Uh, all right. So she drops. Where is she? Where's her bod? Yeah, you can get pieces of her armor. We got some treasure. Um, you can learn the set religion from eating that. And this mystery meat soup is, uh, gives you 60 health. You can buy that from um, Seth and Rue as well. I don't know why the first time I came in this dungeon, I didn't realize there were six of these chests. I mean, maybe I was in a hurry or something, but yeah, there's three either side. And make sure you click on the tablet to turn the daggers of Dagon. Okay. You, oh, the doors have closed. Ooh. Interesting. I haven't had this happen for a while. So we can just teleport out of here. But this is a scary thing to do, to have happen on a server. Because these, like, these never ever used to close so soon. Isn't that crazy? Sentence, oh God. All right, Kalendros has redeemed something with a lot of channel points. I'm very excited to say, yippee Kaye. Yule. Thanks for redeeming that, Kalendros. <laughs> uh. uh. Okay. <clears throat> let's move on. Let's move on. Thank you. Yes, whatever. Whatever. Let me let immediately take his points from him. Hold on a second. Let's take those points. Wait, 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 wait. View of rewards. Where is it? Rewards Q. Take those points. Take those points. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the winner now? <laughs> they are taken, yeah. You can hit Anna die a little inside, I know. It's like physical pain for me. Had to wait and kill the boss once more to get out. Yeah. So that that never used to be a thing. And a couple of chapters ago this started, as far as I'm aware. Um so it's interesting that's happened now. Mm. Well, fortunately, we can just admin out. Um, you can admin out to, not admin out, but you can basically, when you go through one of the doors, you can choose one door to go to this exact location, more or less, uh, back where you enter the dungeon, or to... Ooh. New Brother. Basically here. This is where the other place where you would normally come out. You could speak to this fella. Okay, Spinus. So, okay, we've done the dregs, we've done um, Palace of the Witch Queen. Uh, where should we do next? Shall we go to the unnamed city? Shake it up a bit. Look at this, have we got the shortcut slash home to get out sticky situations like this? Yeah, definitely. All right, we don't need Riptide. Thank you, Riptide, for your service. Dun, da, da, da. Do, 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 do. I must be incapable of hearing that word. All the head does. Yeah, that's because that's all I said. <laughs> Let's make it daytime. Just because, you know, streaming and stuff. Okay, skelly loot. Same as usual. The new skelly loot. Recently new, I guess. Not in this chapter, though. I've had a fatality on a skeleton. Hmm. Is there anybody else? I feel like I haven't had one on a skeleton. Get them dragons. Thank you, Jim, for the encouragement. I shall. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do,
Bum bum bum. Bum ba da dum. Yeah, I haven't been to Yenim City for a while, but I have farmed it thousands of times. I mean, I would argue it must be thousands of times. Probably not. Maybe hundreds. Maybe thousands, honestly. Like, because you would every playthrough, and I did a lot of playthroughs before I even started streaming. There would always be something that I needed to get from the Unknown City. And it used to be the festering one axe. I'm just going to turn the sound down just a wee bit. So they're a bit noisy, these skeletons. So, yeah, I've been here so many times. And also Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers used to be the pinnacle at one point in the game. Fighters. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Hi there. Oh, did I judge you? Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, so I think they've changed their perfect throwing, haven't they? Because I feel like before there was just nothing I could do to avoid those projectiles. Um, these mini bosses have a chance to drop the armor that they're wearing, just like on Sipta, the jailers have a chance to drop their, this armor. So do the mini bosses here. Um, so this is really good loot if you can get it. Um, early game, right? Look at that heat resistance. Heart of a hero is a corruption cleansing item. It lasts for forty minutes, so you need to keep an eye on the timer. But um, you eat that, and it clear all the corruption that you have, unless you've uh, corrupted your attribute points um, on a corrupted build go and a repair kit i will never use she's she says spitting on the ground <laughs> uh, what's the word theatrically that's the word i'm looking for um there's usually some like gold and stuff that they're guarding which is just behind them and i completely ignored it apparently there you go gold and silver coins and whatnot there you go so it's worth killing the mini bosses but you can throw the people as well and you can climb in this city because it's not a dungeon at me without a horse or camel as per usual in my natural habitat my natural state yeeting along with my friendo Spinus looked like he really meant that so yes I I don't think we've had any fatalities on skeletons and I wonder if they're going to add them has anybody seen one I don't think so Oh, they go down to zero. I mean, obviously, that's more work to add. So, you know, see that finite amount of time. Yeah. I'm thinking about um, restarting the solo series for, the, for chapter four. So I usually start a new series when the new chapter comes out. Uh, on the live version of the game and I did start doing a solo series in chapter 3 but because the combat changes were suboptimal um, I kind of abandoned it after just one stream um, so I think what I probably will do given that I'm happy I'm satisfied with the kind of fixes to combat for myself at least I really would like to know how you feel about it if you've played on the beta as well um, but I think I'm ready to, like, you know, do the solo series. I think it might be the most interesting thing I can think to do for myself. Um, yeah. But I'm interested to know what you think. And then I will keep the, the, the server that I have where I have a level 60 character. If I want to, like, hop on and kind of do some regular content on that, I could do that. But that I'll start from scratch for that because everything has changed so much. We had so many issues with Chapter 3, and it was right before Christmas, and there was a big, big, long wait for things to get resolved. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's bygones now, I guess, question mark. But, um, you know, as long as they don't change anything mid-chapter, uh, mid-beta, then I'm pretty happy to restart So, I want the Archivist map room to be a usable map. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Definitely. I would like that too. Okay, we got Scorpion Harness. So the bosses in the Unnamed City now seem to drop an a legendary item uh, each time. 
um, which means it increases your chances of getting the thing you're looking for because before they wouldn't necessarily drop a legendary um there you go repair kits i'm not going to take those because i hate them there we go just don't use them anymore unless it's like early game especially like sipta i think repair kits are really handy until you can make stuff um but otherwise i just won't use them ever is there any content in this game that you don't see me covering because i like skip past it or something is there anything you'd really like to see me do i wonder if maybe sorcery it's maybe at some point i should do a playthrough where i like just use all the sorcery and um try and use it as much as possible that's something we've talked about in the past um Team C exploration to the corner, Calandros. You're watching how to play about us. Your skill set competitors. Checks in the post, Will. Thank you very much for that. I've just no life to this game. Um, and I just love fighting in it. And I just have always specced to, like, as much damage as possible. I always used to be max strength, um... And then I would kind of really min-max just because I just liked killing things quickly. Just like the efficiency and speed of it. There you go, Predatory Blade. Um, yeah, left click only on that one. Dun, 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 dun. Dead, another dead one. Dead cool. eight, the dead best five, places more full dead, dead damage. From the neck up, from the neck down. But that's life. Corner. Corner. Outrageous. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, modification squad. Um, so Spinus was okay, apart from the boss, the female boss, the dagger lady. Um, and the thing is, what you have to do is you need enough HP on your thrall. So if something happens, like there's some, they get stuck, they need to have enough resilience that they're not going to just die. Because when you've leveled someone like a Spinus, who takes a lot of level leveling, um, you really need to, um, you really don't want them dying, you know. Um, so it's all well and good kind of level, um, balancing things for PvP because things become obnoxious. Fully on board of that. Understand, ha you have my sympathies. But like, you know, m the majority of the player base play on PvE and PvP players play PvE content as well, obviously. And, you know, if your thralls, if you like spending loads of time leveling your thralls um, and they just croak because they have two and a half thousand HP, then it's just not much fun, is it, you know? It's definitely the definition of not fun. So. Hi, lady. I've missed you. I don't have steel feud, so she might whoop my ass. Um, when I'm fighting bosses, um, I like to be able to kind of solo bosses, but I really like to use the max uh, grip perk steel feud because it means that she has to hit me three times before she can kill me. Any boss, basically. So I just have to try and dodge well. I'm on single player, which makes it a lot easier for me to dodge. But if I'm on a server uh, where there's a bit more latency, um, that can make a lot of difference to how much I survive these types of fights. There you go. Eight padding, there you go. So that's the first padding we've gotten today, isn't it? Seems to be a lot of padding um in like world boss loot uh the sipter places the sipter new fortresses have a lot of padding in like dotted around there like a lot of it um that's god it's a strength buffing light piece of armor okay I'm not gonna harvest her um i clicked on a little um box at the back of here and that gave me a fragment of power you can eat that to get feet points or you can combine it into a tablet of power and get 60 feet points uh, which is like the most efficient use of your fragments if you're going to use it for feats um and you learn the recipe for a tablet of power from the library of esoteric artifacts here at the unnamed city where we started like here going in through that door what about champion what about champion lady steel feud for champion lady definitely squeaky do you want to go out yeah <laughs> did you hear the kitty one sec come on then fluff
she was rubbing herself against my leg and I, I knew that meant she wanted me to open the door. Hello, hello Anakshan, hello, hello, how are you doing? I think it's a nice drop. It is a nice drop, especially if your thrall's going to die a lot and you need to replace that armour because you couldn't carry it home. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I'm not salty, I'm not salty. Um, very good point, what's the most full damage you can get and from where we will need a top five. Dice spots. Oh. <laughs> Good, good play. Good, good play, Conan. You're happy I'm streaming Conan, is that what you're saying? Yes, fire arrows, right? Yeah, no. Who, was it, did somebody have an orb? Somebody threw, it was in the volcano, we had fire arrows uh, shot at us, didn't we? Okay, so maybe it was an orb guy. Maybe it... Yeah, maybe it was just an orb guy. I didn't notice. I'm pretty sure, well, maybe we need to test again, but I'm pretty sure we did have somebody shoot fire arrows at us in the volcano, which I thought was kind of cool, really. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, we had an orb dude. So that'll be why we had that. Hello, Dave. It's been a day of meetings. I didn't even see a stream, so I'll bless you. Hard at work as usual, obviously. <laughs> you try are you trying to build a pyramid at the moment? I really like the pyramid set. Are you using the pyramid set or are you using like um the just like regular stuff? Because you don't need the pyramid set to do that. Bum ba -dum, bum 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 Hello to everybody who's at work right now listening in. Dun 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 dun, dun, dun. calling you out. Bum ba -dum, bum 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 do 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 Bum, bum, ba -da -bum. We're just testing out um, combat and like looting and things like that. I just want to kind of go around the game and be reasonably thorough, given the fact that certain things don't go in the patch notes. I just kind of want to like, you know, cover the things. But I'm combat feels brilliant now, honestly. I would tell you if it didn't. It feels really, really like smooth. I feel very fast. Uh, spider is like fine to fight. The crocodile still needs a lot of work. I would like to see that like adjusted. He, he pivots way too fast. Same as like salamanders. Um, and you get stuck in the collision. So the collision needs working on. And you know, you end up surfing on this on the croc boss half the time, which is kind of funny. Um, but general combat stuff like that is fine. Thralls are badly nerfed and feel it feels kind of like maybe the perfect absolute perfect timing for me to do a solo series um given that my usual bearer uh, are now going to be kind of turds so so yeah i'll be doing a solo series look at all that padding look at that perfected light padding 13 from that boss um then we've got these cold resistance uh, and carry capacity war mammoth boots that's a good drop that padding is a good job yeah, maybe too generous. Maybe that much is, like, too generous. I don't know. What do you think? Using the pyramid set. Yes, need to go and create more Stygian builds. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're obsessed with the Stygians, aren't you? Which is totally cool. Um, but, um, you were asking about um, the Hand of War armor. Do we not have the Hand of War armor? Has that not been in the bazaar or something? I feel like I've... Have I not worn that already? Did, is it you that asked about it? I don't know what it's called, but hasn't that been? In... Haven't we had that? Just the purge boss. Uh, yes, but do, has it not been in the bazaar for us to make? That's my question, really. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. I love fighting in this game again. I just, you know, this is what I like doing. I like running around and just destroying creatures. <laughs> just doing it quickly and, you know, running around and then building some stuff. And, you know, and if the build, if the combat feels like crap, then I don't want to play the game, you know. So I'm glad it's resolved. But I, I do really want to know how you guys feel about it. I know it's hard to tell when you just watch and haven't played the pizza. Should we fight you, buddy? So I would love it if they would put a loot table 
on this green dragon. She, she or he or whatever. Um, maybe a she because she's got babies with her. Um, I haven't looked up her skirt. Um, she just never has a loot table. Apart from like the basic world boss stuff. Um, and it feels kind of pointless defeating her. There you go. So she's just got the same stuff you get from world bosses still. Um, I would like it if there was some kind of reward. Especially because... And I've said this before, so I repeat myself a lot. But in, when you're in the Unnamed City, you're on a busy server. Lots of people farming the Unnamed City. There's a bit of a kind of... People are giving each other space and going around in a, you know, in a circle kind of thing, defeating bosses. Um, you know, you need... Um, if no one's fighting this lady because she doesn't give you any particular rewards. Apart from, like, you know, dragon loot, which is, you know, non-zero. Like, you know... Dragon bone is helpful for making your dragon rib armor for your thralls and stuff. And demon blood, whatever. Um, hook leather is useful. But it would be nice if, if because it's a boss, it's in the Enem City, if there was some kind of weapon. Maybe maybe a Sipta weapon, Funcom. <clears throat> you know, you're adding stuff to this game. Give us some Sipta weapons and loot table or something. Sitting armor recipe is in the purge camp boxes no so not the ones that the raiders uh, wear but the, uh, the thing that the hand of war um, wears the boss dude don't i don't see it on this yeah hand of war did you ferris did you know yeah um yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. so to not the hand of war i don't think i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i think um i think the only one you can get in the boxes is a schematic uh, or a drop is um, that light armor, like the bandagey kind of Stygian armor. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've seen that hand of war armor in a, in the bazaar. Um, if it was in the bazaar, I won't be able to check um, in the admin panel here because the beta. You never have any of your shop or bazaar purchases because it's a different game, as far as steam is concerned i guess although you can play it if you have the main game um 10 of xp or at least a 10 of xp yeah i mean you know if that's what you're interested in yeah i would rather there be kind of fun fun weapons personally but some kind of reward for fighting that green critter there is a um, there's a, a relic fragment that spawns next to it. We get to fight away from the edge, so I can participate, please, sir. I tell you where else I wouldn't want to take Spinus is into the siege at Almaria, because if our 10,000 HP bearers were dying because they were stuck between millions of enemies. Um, then I definitely wouldn't want to take a Spinus and Marauder. Um, equally, I had a 4,000 HP bearer follow me around the new with the new stats. Um, max level, because I admin leveled him up, died twice in the purge, consecutive purges that I did, like level 9, 10 purges. Um... I like this for decoration. It's a lot better than it used to be. It used to have like 50 or less than... I think it was less than 50 damage. Um, now it's like you can use it. Um, but I actually just really like it for like transmog um, or decoration. It looks really, really nice on the wall. Like outside, like flanking a door, entering a castle or something. It's really cool. It's a gas tax. And there's also like a couple of others that are like uh, sword... Um, they look really cool as well. But yeah, it's m mostly decorative for me. Uh, composite Obsidian is a nice drop. Some potent compost. Better than a kick in the teeth, isn't it? I don't see it in the bazaar in chapter 3. Okay, okay. Because I, I just had a feeling that I've worn it in Anker Chan. Um, I might have to try and check. Cause I remember you've mentioned it a couple of times. To try and check on my... I mean, it wouldn't be called the Hand of War. Um... But yeah, maybe I'll have to have a look on the main version of the game at some point. I'll try and do it soon. Let's go fight the Spudo. It's another one which 
Um, I would expect someone with such low HP as Spinus to like get diedified. Because all the stacks of poison are obnoxious. This is a great place to use a one-handed weapon and a torch because of these little herd wallets. Uh, but a two-handed sword and a left click. I don't know where they are. It's kind of handy to deal with them. But you'll get a stack of poison for every one of these little fudges. If definitely didn't nearly swear. Absolutely not. But it's very dark in here now. Since they changed... Um, that kind of night aura thingy. Let me get some potions back. Just restock from my favourite trader in my inventory. So you, you want to fight this uh, snake when you can do a lot of damage and your thrall could do a lot of damage um, because this snake is a thrall killer. So we'll see if he survives it. But a, a max level Spinus the Marauder in absolute the best gear um, shouldn't die from any world bosses, like in my opinion. Shouldn't die in the hardest dungeons because otherwise what's the point in having this like the highest level of thrall, um, in my opinion. Because a thrall who hits like doesn't hit very hard but has a bit more HP shouldn't be better than him, you know. It's okay if they survive. So there you go, you see that nine stack of poison? If you don't kill that snake really, really fast, that's like a a death knell. There you go. So it's lost the debuff. But it's a great way to lose a thrall. Which is one of the reasons why early on in the game, I generally don't use thralls these days. Um, I used to always try to get a thrall and then I would kind of get a crappy thrall from Seppamaru or something, um, like a dancer. And then I would constantly be like upgrading to a better thrall, using each thrall to get a better one. But now I think early game, uh, harvest this one for a skeleton key. There's a legend. Uh, there's, oh, there isn't a world boss. Okay, that's gone now. Um, and sometimes there's a relic fragment here. It spawns in kind of uh, spontaneously. Um, yeah, there used to be a chest here, but there was nothing more. So there's a gold in these chests at the sides, though. Um, yeah, so three here. And then some on the other side, in the same places. Let's get out of here because we'll lose our corruption then. Uh, we won't keep gaining it, I mean. Oh, looks so nice. Infantry Sigin Armour. Okay, right. So I thought there was something very similar. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So once we've finished gaining corruption from all the places, we can eat um, the heart of a hero that we picked up from a mini boss, which I don't seem to have on me anymore. Um, but we're going to go fight the bat who drops the riptide. It's because we're going around doing the th through the motions. Is that the word I'm saying? You can tell I'm tired now. I can tell I'm tired. Word loss is like the first sign for me. Inability to find words. Did they, sh did they turn to each other? Were they shooting each other? Okay, really, like, skeletons are super worth looting now, especially, like, early game. It's a good place to um, level up thralls, the end of city, and because the loot is so good, like, alchemy and things like that, um, it's even better. It's not as good as it used to be. You used to get about 16,000 uh, XP from skeletons, but it's about, it varies now depending on which type of skeleton it is. But I think it's about six to nine, I think. Hi, friend. It's a flesh creature, so you can... You can bleed, poison, gouge, all the things on this critter. These are venomous, they're venom infused daggers. You see the poison. And you can really like, grind them down very quickly. Spinus is using um, a mace, so he's supplying Sunder as well, which is reducing armor value. So this is where you get the Riptide. This seems to be the only boss, um, apart from the snake, who's just a world boss. This seems to be the only boss in the Unnamed City that I can think of off the top, top of my head that doesn't always drop a legendary weapon uh, or legendary item. Sometimes it's uh, armor. Going, going through the motions, that's what I'm trying to say, yes. 
this is this the new Conan? Yes, this is Conan Exiles 2. Yeah, this is the sequel to the game. It looks very similar. Some of the items are different. <laughs> no, it's the chapter 4 beta, yes. Off to Erin's head to chat. Um, all right, lovely. Take care, Dragoon. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Hello there. Same same loot. Repair kits. Hello. How do I say that? Bochica? Bochica? I don't know how to say that. Welcome. Hi. Finally able to join. Hello, John. How are you doing? Chapter 4 and after New Age coming. Yes. So after this age, uh, after this chapter, uh, there will be a new age. No idea what it's going to be yet. But I'm excited. I'm ready for a new age. Haha. -ha. The two-handed sword, the fact that it does cripple and cleaves through a bunch of people, I just absolutely love it. Slows them down. Sometimes left click and a roll is better. Deal with these little friendos. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Doo, 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 doo. Something tells me this isn't Anna's first time in this place. She just yeeted over the side of a bridge after passing through the opening, going straight for the chest. She must be wall hacking. That's it. I'm just telepathic. This is my first time here. I just sense all these things like some kind of witch. <laughs> Okay. Skeletons all share the same loot table. Look at that padding. Holy potatoes. Eight perfected heavy padding and 13 perfected medium. Yeah, so is it just the skeleton bosses then? Because the bat didn't have padding, did it? I didn't see any padding. I would have noticed, I reckon. Uh, Spectre's Bane is a great one-handed weapon because it has spectre coating on it, which applies this... Um, what is it called? What is the debuff from it? It's something really obvious, isn't it? But it applies a debuff to the undead, basically. That's next question mark. Um, poison is poison. Lasts for ten strikes. Uh, inflicts five damage per second per stack, up to a maximum of fifty damage per second with ten stacks. Poison lasts for ten strikes. So you can get. Uh, I nearly said buy. You can pick up spectre coating from Mounds of the Dead. Um, which is like a little potion-y purple thing. Um, but this has already got it applied, so you'd have to keep reapplying it. I never really used to use spectre coating, so I'm glad that we have these like spectre coating um, weapons now. But obviously it's legendary, so durability will eventually run out. And you're up shit creek without a paddle. New loot. Yeah, new loot, yes, absolutely. Look at that loot, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Hardened steel great axe. Hard and still cleaver. Um, yes. I mean, if you can run down here. I mean, there's plenty of places you can get hard and steel stuff now. Um, so at this point is where I would usually eat my heart for hero. That we looted from an... Um, from a, a mini boss. And that will clear all the corruption. And then you can just heal up. Because that's the end of the... Uh, Corrupted people. And then if I was going to do another round, that's where I would kind of continue. Let's eat and drink, shall we? Lest I, like, upset chat. Will you please eat, woman? <laughs> You're wanting to play this game, have you? I envy people who get to play this game for the first time. Because when I first played this game, I was like, oh my god, yes. I just had the best adventure. Played with my friends. I was on Noob River, went to the jungle, things like that. And I was just like, oh, I love this so much. This is what I've been looking for. I know it sounds like I'm over-exaggerating, but I was freaking loved it. And I know a lot of you feel the same way. Um, is your character a Nord? She is a Nord. She is a Nord. Believe it or not. She just has a bit of a tan. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Um, but the the races don't really like mean anything apart from just, you know, personal choices and preferences and stuff like that. Um... 
Team Sellers are very missed my opportunity. Ah, okay. I see. We quite often do giveaways on the stream, so... The bat, <laughs> bat is batshit crazy. He declined loot when they passed it out. That's it. He was like, I just don't want anything, okay? Just don't give me anything. I just don't want any help, okay? I don't need it. I just rather do it all myself. We can. I usually fight the brute on the way out. Seems efficient. We can go to Sep. So he was also like over over tuned for turning, wasn't he? It is difficult to test with a with a friendo, I have to say, because they. It is a lot easier when you have somebody with you who is also drawing aggro. Um, so the best thing really we we to completely test it solo. But this is one of the bosses I, I've always farmed like probably one of the first bosses that I would usually fight that isn't a spider or something in the unnamed city. There we go. Predatory, predatory blade a second time in this visit. Um, sweet. I'm going to leave it because we're just doing testing here. Um, okay. So we've been around the unnamed city. Padding seems to be the only change. Has anybody else noticed anything different? Um, let's go to Sep and have a bit of a run around there. Maybe do the wine cellar. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Have to get my bearings in. Bum, bum, bum. Hello, Creston. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Good to see you. Do, 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 do. Dun, dun, dun. Look at him. <laughs> Just one hit him. Who you? Serves you right, you bully. I do. I have like a love hate relationship with him. It's like the shoe bills in the jungle. They're like. Rah! And then they attack you and it's like, would you stop it? But I find them comically kind of annoying. I don't know what it is. Um, let's put him on passive. So, yeah, hopefully that works. The volcano now, everybody aggroes immediately. Okay, but Sephiru is not that way. Sephiru is still neutral. Oh, look at that. That is a perfect thing you want to get when you visit the Sepamaru. A shield right who will add extra armor value to each of your armor pieces. Um, but we, yeah, we don't need one. But that's such a great thing to just discover. I know, I know. Oh, it's like, it pains me almost not to like pick him up. But this is just the beta. I don't have any need for like, you know, legitimate farming. <gasps> and an edgesmith! <laughs> what the heck? I swear I haven't changed anything. I swear I haven't changed any settings. Um, Edgesmith increases uh, armor pen on a weapon that you craft. Uh, and a shield right increases armor value on armor that you craft. That's really cool. <laughs> Imagine. Scout right is the... You like the scout right? Really? Nah, shield right for me any day of the week. Shield right for me and then a, an armor reduction kit to get the most armor value and being able to run around without putting points of expertise. That's my perfect combo, but it's you do you boo-boo and all that stuff. I can't help myself, even though I don't need any thrills because I'm on the beta, I still want to run around and have Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh my god, we saw it just in time. So it's here this time. Last time it was over there. I would fully expect Spinus to die in this fight. This is an event. Um... Okay, it is all the way over there. It's not like last time it was like on the other side, wasn't it? So this is a Sipta kind of uh, style event. Enemies come down, you can defeat them, the bodies will be immediately taken away. Um, oh, he's on don't attack, isn't he? While he's doing that, let's put him aggressive. Okay. Um, but it's quite tough, really, and it's a good way to get your Thrall killed. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. Um, I would say if the enemy goes down to 1 HP, because you've already delivered the final blow. Somebody landed on my head then. Um, and the 1 HP is really just to like, facilitate the fatality. I, I would like it if your Thrall would just ignore them. Because you don't want them taken up with somebody who's already going to die. Who's already dead for, you know, all intents and purposes. I love that effect. Looks really nice. It's 
So really the last two times we've visited Sep, we've had this vent. Hello, sir in the tree. You've got to defeat all these dudes and then you the person will come out of the... Um, that, like, bubble. And then you have to defeat him. Or whatever you want to call it. It's not him, is it? Is it him? And then there's, like, a boss. It's quite a tough event, believe it or not. I just have a, I just do a lot of damage. I think maybe they've reduced the amount of enemies. You think? Or are we just being very efficient? Just clearing away the bodies. You can loot these. You can get sip to armor from these. Strength buffing and if you like the look of it. It was just an it was just giving us another phase. Yeah, I really want the fatality to be ignored by my friendo. And then you're like more likely to be able to get it yourself as well. It does feel like less, do you think? Sip to event, yes. Did you invade it? I mean, yeah, that's it. Yeah, see, this is where I would worry about Spinus. Make sure you keep an eye on him. He gets surrounded by people. That's the best way for him to die. He does have lasting feast on him as a heal. That one's got a katana. If you want to do fatality, you have to cancel your combo. Okay, I can't. I've got to stay with him. I always have my thrall of like the shortest follow distance possible. I wonder if they like made this easier because people were just dying too much in it. Because I don't know if I'm just doing more damage this time. I feel like I always do this amount of damage, but. Holy crap! That's a different one than last time. This guy has a big AoE. This is kind of scary. I would want to have Steel Feud to fight this guy. Oh, it's, it's the big mushroom guy. What is it? Krillandian from Sipta. Oh, I would expect Spiders to die here. This guy's got 10,000 health. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's got like particles and stuff. I've had this guy follow me out of the spawning pools in Sipta on the Isle of Dawn where he you can fight him. Um I just like just like run around absolutely terrifying me. And on a server he'll still be there when you go back, I think. Look at that. Look at that laser beam. I think maybe he's struggling to target Spinus, because Spinus is just underneath him. So maybe that, like, new targeting auto-lock that they've given us, where you can kind of, like... There you go. Maybe that's why he's... Maybe that's why he's, like, harder to hit. Um, Shield of Stone Oak. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That'll be a Sipta uh, uh, shield. Yeah, shield constructed from Petrified Wood of the Clarandian Horror. 15,000 durability. Just like the Black Tusk shield. Does it have the same stats? This is the usual loot. Black Tusk shield you can get on Exiled Lands from uh, skeletons um, and various chests as well, actually, nowadays. 33 damage. So it does more. 30, 39 damage. 13% armor pen. So it is better than the Black Tusk. Weighs a little bit more. Same durability. But you want a lot of durability in a shield, especially when they're not repairable anymore. Let's see what we get. Puffball mushrooms, insulated wood, doom amanita, savory flesh. Lovely. That's very cool. So I think last time it was like, what was it? Like the blood moon beast or something? Or I think uh, it was a lizard creature. It had like a tail and it was like red. Was it blood moon beast? 
Hmm. 15,000. Can you take the shield on? Oh. Yep. Yeah, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's going to look exactly like a wooden targe or something. I mean, I don't really use shields. Does that just look like the wooden, like a wooden shield? No. Usually, like the black tusk looks just like the bone shield. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me knowing the game. It's identical to the wooden targe. So it, you, if you want to use it for decoration or something, you can just use the wooden targe. Identical. Nothing special. Yeah, no problem. It's cool that it's got better stats anyway. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, durability is really what you want. Especially, um, you know, if you're... I don't know, if you do a lot of standing around being defensive while your thrall does the beating of bosses and stuff, then it's helpful. Ah, so because we had an event on, um, the um, the thralls aren't kind of spawning in, the uh, NPCs aren't spawning in in this area. We have to kind of leave this kind of radius. Because there should be, like, NPCs here crafting thralls. Um... Oh, it feels good to be in Sephiru. This is like one of my absolute favourite places on the map. I just love it. Which build is going to be the best for PvE and Act 4? Agility or Strength? My my preferred is Agility. Absolutely. Dodging away. Um, doing lots of damage. This is how I'm specced. Um, so yeah, I would, I would... For me, I'm going to stick with this build, basically. It's my preferred one. But I, I don't put points in Authority. Um, I mean, you can try doing um, well-trained um you know we we should at some point maybe today we'll like spec into well trained to see what spinus does um but i i'm not here to like stand around while my thrall does the damage i'm here to like look at that freaking orange <laughs> we got a bow maker as well this guy will make a better damage bow for you any of the bows that you can craft like a star metal bow or kari bows or anything like that which is really good it's a really good thrall um Yep. So I think strength is fine. Um, if you want to do that. I just like the speed at which I move with agility. I like the speed of rolling. Um, I like the speed of, that I run at uh, quick footed. Um, and I use less stamina. I just really like it. I'm very addicted to it. Um, and I like my Baltius Razor and my uh, Bector Corbin Hammers, which are both agility. And then I can use daggers and you know slash away at people as well if I want to. Um, but yeah, that's just how I like to play. I always used to be a strength build person. Always, always, always. Um. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da. I need a jersey on super, so I think it's going to it. Nice, nice. Thank you for the, the watch streak. Da -da 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 I have run through here so many freaking times, honestly. Um, the shield used to give plus two to two of the player's attributes. Mmm. Yeah, back when weapons and things gave buffs to your attribute levels. I used to love that. You could kind of like... it was. It, I just felt it gave you a bit more flexibility in how you specced and felt more interesting. I do think you do run the risk of like dumbing down the game or boiling the game down to kind of be a bit more kind of just less interesting sometimes they have to like be careful with that when they change features um you know so i'm glad they're adding new purge waves because the purge really became quite a straightforward like i realized that a lot of people didn't like the purge before and when i first did a purge i was i honestly felt like crying i feel like a lot of people will identify with that even if you don't say it in the chat but i really felt like crying because my gorgeous stone box and it really did look just like a sandstone box uh, was just demolished all my hard work what i thought was hard work back then and i didn't understand why these enemies were just coming to my base to like destroy it and my friends were like oh well we'll just rebuild and everything and i was just like super salty we ended up turning off the purge because i hated it so much i mean my friends were like oh why would we do that to ourselves um 
And then eventually I, you know, when I started playing on official servers, when my friends got bored of playing Conan, as is the case for many people, right? You start playing with people and they're like, yo, another game came out or, you know, I just want to do this or that. Um, started playing on official servers and then I started doing the purge and I really, really grew to like it. And I liked preparing for it and min-maxing my thralls and gearing them up and everything. Um, and there was a lot of variety. And then depending on where you built, you had different types of purges and things like that. And it is good that you can build anywhere now so that the rest of the map is kind of like, you know, maybe certain pinch points don't get so built up. Um, but, you know, we do need the interest, don't we? And I so I do like that they've added new purge waves in the, with the golems, the champions, the thieves, the meteor showers. And things like that um and i'd like to see like crafting thralls returned that kind of thing you know thank you for the advice no problem maybe they upped the chance for tier thralls. i don't i don't know fuzzy 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 scout right coming up next just watch yes we did have a bit of a strange rng when we went to the galleon the other day um when i was uh, looking at bearers we had was it two or three bearers i forget now named bearers we definitely found two right next to each other i have definitely seen that before but i think we had like three and for a minute i was like they've changed the spawn rates of tier fours um tier four bearers um but then we flew back and forth a few times and then i just found like tier twos tier threes things like that they have definitely changed the spawns this is an annoying feature of fatalities where sometimes you just can't path to complete it. Uh, let me put him on attack uh, everything. Is he still buffed? Yeah. Um, where, what, was I, where was I going with this? Rip. The sandstone rats. Hello, eradication. Someone who definitely does not build sandstone boxes. Absolutely. Yep. But the, your first sandstone box, you were very proud of it, weren't you? You were like, wow, look at this thing that I built. This is beautiful. And it was disgusting and horrible when you look back. But, you know, it was your home with your friends and all your stuff. You just watched things demolish. You just couldn't fight off all those people. It was, it was pirates in the jungle. It was so devastating. Um, but, yeah, I, I grew to love the purge. So, you know, and I, I just... I would farm it like loads. I spent a lot of time like trying to farm purges and rebuilding to target different ones. And that had a lot of replayability for me. Um, so. Fuzzy. Thank you, Fuzzy, for clarifying. For all RNG. I think it was just RNG, yeah. We'll see what we get. Um, this is the best place to find bearers because there are... Uh, four spawn points. Um... Da -da. I'm not fighting you, sir. You are like a tempting me to go to the edge now. Just not unnamed. It's just a tier three. So yeah, we were. It was just really weird RNG. Imo of Decato. Oh my god. Back in the day when I was trying to like uh, farm all of the the dancers, it took me so long to get her. Um, yeah, I wonder if, I don't know. We have had a lot of, like, tier four people today. I don't, I don't want to kill you, Imu. I can't. As soon as I run out of render range, she will, um, she will, she will change because this is single player. But she's, like, super cute. And, um, I, I was trying to find her for ages. Yeah, I was running around all the pirate places and Buccaneer Bay and stuff like that. Uh, all the little NPC camps, trying to farm her. It was a, it was interesting for a while. And so boxes is a certain level of intrinsic charm. I can't knock it. Yes, exactly. That's it. I don't know. You j it just goes to show though that you have to start somewhere. To, you know, I, I would say I started with this. Like, I mean, I'm not like the best builder, obviously, but like, you know, we can all we can all progress past that if you want to. Well, no names, right, uh, for the bearers. So, you know, this is what we're just kind of checking here. But um, this is a kind of relatively unscientific way of checking spawn rates if they've changed. Um, I think we just had a bit of streamer luck the first time around. Um, but you can get a lot of bearers at the end of purges as rewards. 
So this, that's probably, if you like doing purges and you want to do purges, um, that's an incentive, I guess. Although, just don't bother anymore because the bearers are kind of crappy, unfortunately. For now, at least. Things change. <laughs> Things change eventually. Didn't know you could find tier 4 Diketo boots. Um, I don't think you can. Not tier 4 Diketo priests. That sh oh, so Imu of Diketo is a dancer. No, we need to go to um, Pagoda of Boundless Lusts uh, in the jungle to get a Diketo uh, named priest uh, over here. That's where to go. There's like a few spawn points over there. But yeah, Imu of Diketo is uh, is just one of the named dancers in the game. Hello, Kit. How are you doing? Have you been playing the beta? What's the sitch? Are you enjoying it? She's a dancer, yes. Yeah. A tier two, yeah. Yeah. Usual situations. Yeah, we found um, we found a edge smith and a shield right standing like next to each other in Seperu just now. Then we found Imu of Diketo. The RNG has been ridiculous today, so we're kind of just like, I don't know, unscientifically checking things out. I kind of want to go to Sobek Cave as well. Um, while we're here, maybe we'll go there. Um, should we have a quick shop, quick look around, see if anything interesting is here? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, nothing interesting. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, this is like a very, very good location to get a lot of aloe if you need aloe and you're kind of, if you're in the desert area, I mean, you can get loads of aloe by this uh, stream um or any of these streams there's loads of aloe abundantly and along like new river there's some too um but if you really want to stock up and you're kind of towards this end or if you're in the jungle or something this is such a rich source of uh aloe these little friendos here use a sickle to get those um am i going the right direction yes we're gonna go have a look at the sobek cave see what the sitch is Um, been a stressful one and nonsense. Relaxing in a in supermarket sim challenge mode. No loan run. That sounds lovely. Anything that's a diversion from stress is always really good, isn't it? This is what this game has been for me really over the years. Just like because it's so immersive and it feels like complete distraction. I like it. Yes. I don't know. If, what do I? What else do I have? Overwatch is another one because I play that with people. Hi, people. Uh, he's on attack, I think. These people hit quite hard, traditionally. Um, some of them are thrallable. So, are you on... He's on aggressive, yeah. They all drop this armor now, which is just kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. It's like the... Um, it's like all the animal tamers dropping underwater breathing masks. It feels too generous. Beastmaster Timos, or Tamos or whatever... Um, at Buccaneer Bay. Uh, here? Question mark? Over there? Here? Um, yes, I think it's right here, isn't it? It used to be Beastmaster Timos that you had to kill to get the underwater breathing mask. And now all the animal tamers drop it. Um, and I just... You, you used to have to come here and farm the boss to get that. Um, which felt like a nice challenge. I mean, it's still a challenging cave. Um... I should heal him up, really. Who is bleeding him? Where is that bleed coming from, mister? So yeah, I don't know. It feels kind of dumbed down unnecessarily. I don't I don't think we need that much loot. Um I don't know. I mean I know they tried to make the game less grindy, but you couldn't craft this armor anyway. Um so getting it from the boss when the boss always drops like one or two pieces. 
feel like why do these why do these guys drop it as well it makes it less special i don't know i'm interested to think uh, to know how you guys feel about it um this is a great place to get um puffball mushrooms once you've killed these people or you can ignore them and just run to the back of the cave um back there uh, but it is a very dangerous cave so it's more of a thrill seekers kind of place to get puffballs um, and now, let's double check that you shouldn't be able to harvest them with pick. Mm. Very sad. So now you'll just get one or two because I have two times harvesting on every time you have to click on each of them. So anything that you use, pu purple mushrooms you use for making, maybe that's why they did it. Maybe it's to make noxious arrows harder to craft. Because noxious arrows became like... Um, the, a, a great way of dealing with purges. Maybe they did that to kind of nerf our ability to make noxious arrows. So that's another thing to think about. If you use uh, poison arrows and noxious arrows quite a lot on uh, the live version of the game, it's probably time to stock up because currently on the live version you can run around and you can hit puffballs um, with a pick, with any like, well, pickaxe definitely, or pick or whatever, or hatchet, and it'll give you a stack uh, each time you hit it. Um, and then once it goes, once the beta is live, then you won't be able to do that anymore. So, something to think about. Hello there. Same, I would do the same thing with eggs as well. If you like to use exotic feast, stock up on eggs. Um, or if you like to make enhanced rule as your healing food. And you, I would encourage you to use those because 10 heals per second from exotic feast is very good. Or nine heals per second for its uh, enhanced room. It's actually good in this game. Yes, you get can you get bonus damage if you shoot an enemy? While hidden, no, you can't. There's no backstab or stealth bonus in this game. Are you supposed to use a sickle on mushrooms? You can use a pickaxe. You don't have to use the sickle. Um, should we try the sickle? See if it's if it's still possible to get a stack using the sickle. That's wonderful. Um, star metal. I don't know why I'm kissing it out. There's not much point if it doesn't work. It's just force a habit. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Ba -da 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 -dum, bum. Um, okay, let's go check the back. I forgot I was still, still in creative mode. Um... He's still my heart. I'm so glad you mentioned that because, um, yes. Okay, 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 okay. You can still get purple mushrooms. Re ignore everything I just said. Oh my God. I'm on two times harvesting. That is a lot. It is a star metal pickaxe, uh, sickle with advanced tool upgrade kit. Let me exit creative mode. Well, it seems very smooth. I wish the public service had a bit more power resources. I do have a very tanky PC because I'm a streamer and um, and this is single player. So there's no latency at all because it's, uh, it's just running on my game on my PC locally. Um, but yeah, archery is decent. Um, if you put points into agility, um, you can do a lot of damage. That one HP is because... So that was a fatality, wasn't it? Can you do fatalities on crocodiles? Just drinking water here. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, swings around about some people might not like archery in this game. I think it's really handy. If you put points into agility, there are some good bows. There's some poison arrows, uh, fire arrows, explosive arrows, acid arrows, things like that. Um, glowing arrows, fire spark arrows. Lots of different things. I love archery. Yeah, archery is fun. I never used it on console because I didn't like it with a controller. But now I'm on um, mouse and keyboard on PC. I I, I like it. Yeah. Uh, I only used it for like healing arrows. There's the mini boss, who you used to have to defeat um, to get that armor. I'm gonna switch to my melee weapon. boss down see like he's not special anymore because he drops the same stuff as everybody else so you could just not fight him and just fight the others i don't know i don't know why they made that decision i see 
I know they want like running around to feel more rewarding. This used to be a good place to get grey lotus, but now it's much more abundant from uh, skeletons and things and dotted around the map, including the name city. Who is the best warrior human follower? Um, well, volcano thralls really now for damage, like raw damage. Um, but they don't get a lot of health. You can see Spinus here has um, less than 3,000. And I spawned in about... To get him, I didn't like spawn in millions and millions, but I spawned in um, about 10 of them. And, the, you know, they get just over 3,000. But I wanted one that hit the hardest because that's what I wanted to test is their strength. Uh, but make sure you put him in incredibly high armor. Give him the best weapon you can, like a m momentum legendary or something like that. Mace. This cave is beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, I like that it's kind of tucked away. When I used to play this game on servers, I didn't even know that was there and a friend brought me here to show me. I was like, let's go fight them. Bum, ba, dum, bum, doo -doo. Okay, so Sobek Cave doesn't feel any different, but I, you can still get loot from all the friendos. Um, let's go fight the Spooder up here, shall we? Let's see if we get padding from him. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Ba -da 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 -dum, bum. Cannibal brute, no. The um the cannibals were uh, uh, nerfed in um chapter three quite substantially. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. And they yeah, that was it was I don't think that was I think that was a bug. They they were like very, very, very powerful in chapter two. But um in chapter one of Age of War, but they have been nerfed. So yeah. Yeah, so we did get some padding from that one. Um yeah. And we have from the the previous spider. I mean only two pieces from this guy. And if you harvest it you'll get a skeleton key as well. I am, look at me, I'm like automatically running to where the box used to be, and I know that they're moved. I know that they're in in dungeons now. Um the world boss chests. Dun, 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 dun. I hope the devs consider adding a fatality option to ranged attacks. That would be super cool. I could see it being like, you know, like um, Assassin's Creed. Give us like a slow-mo or something. Um, a slow-mo shot where you like follow the arrow. I mean, I know that might be kind of a like expensive thing for them to work on. Um, but that would be super cool, wouldn't it? Like a slow-mo arrow zoom-in situation. Um, I would like that. It'd be kind of cool. Then give us a buff. And it would work work for us because um, uh, um, you are immune whilst you perform a fatality. So you wouldn't have to worry about the fact that you couldn't control your character for a moment. Maybe it would take too long if that's the only thing. Um, yeah. I would really like um, a, an unarmed one. That'd be kind of cool. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Oh, there's my little purge base over there. Um, where should we look at? We've done Unnamed City. We've done Dagon, Dregs, Palace of the Witch Queen. Uh, we did the volcano the other day. Uh, Wallmaker and Wine Cellar we haven't done. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do. God, I was having a bit of a, like a derp moment there. I was like, where the hell is the Wallmaker <laughs> dungeon? Pass over. It's running again, is it, Cal? I'm so relieved. Oh, hopefully there's a message from them um, for me. I'm so relieved. I was like, oh my God, don't delete my power world server. What's it done to you? Yes. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thank you, Nichardo, friendos. Da -da 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 yeah, so hopefully they've deleted the test server now because we... Thank God the decay is working. Holy potatoes. If I could have, like, asked for one thing this year. Okay, maybe not the one thing this year, but, like, you know, the second thing this year, it would be, please, can we just have a working decay? If I was, like, a praying person. Because it just, honestly, it was so stressful and such a pain in the butt. I know I'm fatality. Punch right through. I was, I'm thinking, I have, like, a vision of you, like... Um, smashing their head with like two fists together like like I, you can't see what I'm doing but like imagine you two fists meeting together and you're going like pff, like and squishing the head like a coconut or something no <laughs> I think that'd be kind of cool yeah 
rip, rip some organ out. Yeah. Yeah. Something gruesome. Love it. Dun, 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 dun. Doo, 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 doo. I'm very excited about my Thai red curry, I have to say. It's very nice. I know when you've got some hot food waiting for you. Heat. I can reheat. Hey, I haven't been in the wall maker for like months, I don't think. Like two months since I, before I took my break from the game. So let's, right, I'm not in creative mode or anything. Hi friends, do you miss me? I miss killing you. It's always a pleasure. Especially because you're not the corrupty friendos. So I probably won't take Spinus to fight the arena champion. I'll just solo her. Um, I do prefer to fight her when I have steel feud. I'm not gonna lie, but I, we'll we'll try her with this current spec. Um, I tend to like to run around without a thrall, um, and then I'm basically specking for um, world bosses, basically. So I would usually have steel feuds. If I do purges or the siege of Almaria, which is what I'm specked for right now, I do max health. Because Steel Feud doesn't help me when there's loads of enemies uh, attacking me. Um, so yeah, for like the Red Mother, the Arena Champion, uh, the Wall Maker, uh, Wine Cellar Dungeon. And generally I would use Steel Feud. So but we'll try her without. And the fact that I'm on single player and there's not really any lag, I should have the best chance possible, I guess. Seven eggs. I feel like egg drops are going to be much more useful, like valuable. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Pulped heads. Brody to the max, dude. Actually, awesome idea. Come on, Funcom. Can you make it to the see throw? Get on the signature and a head smash already. Yeah. Absolutely. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. I don't know if Eradication's still here, but did did I hear right? Did you do you have your own um do you have like a an NPC now? If so, I'm like super jealous. I don't know if you saw this thing. Were you putting your weapon away? Exile. This is a new fudge. She'll defeat you. This is a new addition from like chapter two question mark when they reworked dungeons. I think it was chapter two. It's hard to keep all the chapters in my head in order. Steel feud. Steel feud. So the max grip perk here, the final one there at the bottom, you can't take more than, uh, enemies can't take more than 33% of your HP in one hit. Ooh. Night Stalker's Mask. So these guys share, wherever you see these skeleton bosses like this guy on the Exiled Lands, they share the same loot table as the skeleton bosses in the Unnamed City. So you can get like all sorts of stuff like uh, Festering One sort of crom and stuff from them. So this guy's dropped Night Stalker's ma max, uh, Mask, <laughs> which is a... Um, a night vision mask, surprisingly, by the name. Um, he's also dropped some fetid padding. Nice. So it's RNG what you get from them. But that's a nice thing to get here, I guess, on the way through. I mean, it does add a bit more time to this dungeon as well. So, But there's a lot of running through empty corridors before, or just with, like, skeletons. So, I don't know. A bit more interesting. It's funny, though, that this guy is your target, but he's actually not as tough to fight, I suppose, as a unnamed city boss, maybe. I don't know. What are you doing, you bellend? Get your weapon out, exile. That's how it goes, isn't it? It's just, I've never seen this happen before. Where's your weapon, bud? I don't think this has ever happened to me. Maybe? Uh, definitely with normal thralls. Um, Nortis is a very good mace. Used to be one of the best. Armor pen, 27% health damage. 67 um this is with a this is with a master weapon fitting but this is very very high damage this is like arguably the best 
mace that you can get certainly that you can get from world boss chests um but this was always very good um yeah you know, durability as well uh i should take the statuettes take the statuettes from these mini bosses there's gold and stuff in these boxes here Dun, 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 dun. What good moment when a boss freezes the Doris weapon just to throw shade, yeah. So I'm just not even going to bother taking my weapon out because it's everything you're important enough. And honestly, I've only just polished my blade, right? I've just oiled it up. I don't want to have to use it, do that again. I've already, I've done it for the week. That's it. I'm just going to punch you. Just stand still while I slap you. That's what he's thinking. Lazy tyke. Had it happen? He's like, time for physicals, have you? I, I mean, it, I must have ha had it happen, but I can't remember it, honestly. It's like a rare thing. I've definitely had all other thralls, including my own, refuse to get their weapon out. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. You're boring. Okay, let's go check the chests up here oh look at that yeah so this is one of the things we're checking for today is where we find this padding but yeah in dungeons just in like loot boxes okay we didn't see any in the dregs in boxes i don't think um yep yeah. hi gray lotus seeds Repair kit that I'll never use. Spits on ground theatrically like a tantrum. <laughs> Hello, Morden. How you doing? Just finished work. All going well? Yeah, all going well. Just testing the boss fights and stuff. Testing out Spinus. Seeing his survivability against bosses and dungeons and things. And just checking loot tables and whatnot. The only different really, the difference really that I've seen is like padding in, in places. I think if you're going to add the chain in the dregs that you have to like get up to and a lot of people will just probably only do it if they have double jump as a, as a skill or an attribute. I feel like the rewards just should be a bit better and it doesn't have to be a better weapon or anything. Um, because if you think about it, you can get hardened steel weapons from so many different places in the game. I feel like it should at least be hardened steel weapons up there. You know, if you're going to have to climb and you have to get back down again and everything, um, yeah. I think those, like, Darfari cudgels are just very meh, really. We all have a bit of paddy when we get older. Absolutely, absolutely. Not a tantrum. Nope, nope. <laughs> yeah. Um, not using a weapon, a bit of the old slapdash, otherwise known as Hasselhoff. Is that, is that what people, people, people say? I don't know if I've ever heard people say Hasselhoff. Off. who's getting old nobody's getting older Creston we're all spring chickens here at right chat all of us every single one especially you the one listening I know who you're thinking about okay here's another new friendo Scepter dude not new to chapter four just new to like chapter two I guess it's kind of cool It's a naked weirdo. Go put your clothes on, sir. Go. Can you stop it, you fudge? Okay. What have we got? Chakrams or something. Berserker's fist blades. Uh, thanks, welcome in. Thank you, raiders. Uh, thank you for coming on the raid. Welcome, welcome. What were you up to? Uh, Eye of the Watcher. Yeah, this is something you could already get on the Exxon Lands on like a bridge in the desert, which is... Uh, not that exciting but it does have a bit of cold resistance it's better than a kick in the teeth what are the stats on these um vengeful i don't know what that debuff is actually or that boost uh vengeful uh uh increasing damage as your health lowers okay i don't know if i'm familiar with this debuff actually Um, is it not listed on the wiki? The wiki doesn't have anything. Um, 
lower your HP, the more damage you deal. There you go. Okay. I mean, I'm. that's not really my thing, really. I prefer to just survive. But there you go. That's the answer. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Thank you, Cal. Um, out here without his skin on. Yeah, he forgot to put his skin on when he left the house this morning. He's like, excuse me, this is my house. You're supposed to be dead. I haven't had any problems with facing. As long as you use that auto face on attack uh, option. Which they've added for chapter 4. Or re-added, I guess. I don't think I picked up the last guy's statuette, did I? No. Is this the second guy? I forget. I mean, it's Tarj. Uh, health, uh, what is it called? Uh, Pulled resistance, which is kind of cool. And then lots of durability. If you're into that sort of thing. Not durability, I just mean like, you know, shields. I hate shields. I just don't like them. I don't like that they kind of like interfere with your combo. I don't know. I used to like them when Soul Spiel and Miss Morn were like god tier. Um, and now I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just don't care. I think shields are probably incredibly handy early game. And, um, you know, especially if you're um, doing a, uh, like a, a strength build, and you're not kind of dodging around and stuff. Um, you know, or you're playing with somebody who's like not that comfortable in the game yet. Shields can be kind of handy. Um, but I, I still have my shield bound to control, uh, my block bound to control. So I don't really use, <laughs> I don't use that on two-handed swords, strangely. Oh, I've got to do the thing. Um, I need my third statuette, my second statuette. Is it this one? You like a nice shield, do you? What's your favorite type of server to play on? Private, official, or solo? Um, if I wasn't streaming, I definitely think official servers are my favorite way to play because I like the game. I like I like the structure of an official server. I like that I can't just spawn things in and cheat. Um, I need that kind of like I need those rules really. Um, also, there's like you know people 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 to kind of play with, or you don't have to even speak to people, but there are other people there if you wanted to speak to them. Um, and you get to like help other people and stuff, which I used to. I, I spend a lot of time on official servers before I started streaming. Um, but yeah, um, if I'm streaming the night, I, I, it has to be solo, really. It's just, you know. All right, let's put our little f statuettes in these little cluster of thingies, get our key, and get through the door. How about you guys? How do you like to play? Um, I like single player or like a private server and then mods these days, really, for my, for my um, stream and YouTube stuff. I need to have like complete control over everything, really, for that. So they're only so far. Really? Enjoy private service with a good community. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think if you like, um, if you, once you've gotten used to mods and stuff, then I think private service is, you know, f that you're familiar with is probably like the pinnacle, really, the best, best way forward. Um, especially if it's like a smaller community and you can kind of like complain about stuff and have your thoughts heard, you know what I mean? Unless it's like being unofficial and somebody comes in builds like right next to you. I don't know how they, how well they do it, like policing that and officials. But I, one of the main reasons I would kind of leave a server, apart from just getting bored of my character and being like, oh, I just wish you had a bit more of a turn <laughs> before we could alter their appearances was like just people being kind of toxic and building right next to you and i just hated that so much so that's why we're kind of reasonably strict about that on our server because i feel like that just spoils everybody's fun and then people start building defensively and up in a turf war hey Annihilator, which used to be very good. Uh, 75 health damage is fine. It's good. It has the Executioner ability, which takes the final 10% of an enemy's health. We need the key to the arena. I'm not going through all the little, like, um... I guess I could, because we kind of want to check loot here. 
I kind of, I, I don't like going for these like rusted keys. I like to just be, I don't like anything that slows me down generally. Hi there. I just want to check the loot. So I wouldn't say that loot looks any different. There's any chests here. I'm not going to collect the keys. Keys give you access to more doors in the final boss arena. Dun, 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 dun. Sometimes I have like a mini game with myself to see if I can just keep running and not like just avoid people <laughs> running after me because I just can't be bothered. Does anyone else do that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Loads of padding. Yes. So definitely worth checking these. Twelve padding in that one. Perfected heavy. So yeah. Okay. Well, that answers the question, doesn't it? We don't have to check all of them. I guess. Ooh, so much padding. Look at that. Perfected medium, four pieces. Whee! Ouch. That hurt. Hello, sir. So should we crouch through here? I might put my thrall in safety and then go fight the Wicked Witch of the West. Who I have a love-hate relationship with. Hello? Hi! <laughs> She's there? Uh, okay, you stop following me. Let's do heart's blood, shall we? Hold on to your butts, people. Am I still buffed? Yes. She really scares me. I don't want to fight her. Ah! I don't have a steel feud. I'm so scared. Okay. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Listen, that was a war cry. Okay. This is why I like agility. I like to be quick. Look at that freaking ice skating lady. Okay, there's a tr double full stack. <gasps> oh my god, that was fun. I didn't even mean to do the fatality. That felt so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> We need a war cry about thing. Hundred percent of war cry. Not panic at all. Nope. No. 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 <laughs> that was so cool. I didn't even think that I would get like a fatality on her, but it heals. Helpful. Yes. And some armor scraps. Oh, <laughs> she gives me the heebie-jeebies, but I kind of enjoy it. T pose for the win. I know. That was funny, wasn't it? <sighs> yes. Yes. I feel good about that. That was good. Did she hit me at all? She didn't, did she? Was that like perfect? Perfect fight. Oh, oh. Oh, I think I lost about five years of my life then, honestly. She's so she's so scary. It wasn't much of a test. Did you do the chump? Yes. That's what the screaming was about, machine. Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You missed it. You missed it. It was so quick. You missed it. Yep. So I wouldn't take Spinus in like to fight her. I mean, we. I will test her more, but probably not today because I need to like, eat something soon. Um. But um, she's like, yeah, she's like one of my favorite things to do in this game is just to fight her. Um. Usually I will do like, you know. Like I try to do like naked with stone dagger, uh, naked with just daggers, any daggers. Um, but I like to use steel feud for her because then she has to hit you three times to kill you instead of like two shotting you. So it does give you a little bit of like, like insurance um, because uh, especially with her with like the collision and things like that, um, 
Are they dead? We already killed them. Hi, friend. This guy does a lot as well. And if you... This, like, burst... Look at that damage. Steel feud is handy for this guy too, unless you get in the fire breath. In which case, it's pretty punishing. Listen, I was already rolling because I knew you were going to do that. Hey, damn. Okay, you could grab that skeleton key if you wanted to. And there's a legendary chest there. Just a regular legendary chest. Ooh. I feel awake in a way that I haven't been today since doing that fight. I go the right way, right? Yeah. We'll throw all that to uh, fire to the face. Yeah, exactly. You heard that, like, freaking scariness. Hi, people. I missed you. I mean, literally with my mace, my hammer. I don't like to be trampled. Nice. Do, do, do. Okay, padding in here too. Loads of padding. You're going to have padding out the wazoo, as people say. I don't say that, but some people say that. If you have padding out the wazoo, maybe go to the doctor. I think. Don't wait. <laughs> hey, the fun new addition that was in chapter three? Question mark? Did you get this in chapter three? If you haven't played for a while. Finally. Hi there. How are you doing, buddy? You're so cute. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to find you cute, but I think you are. Hi, buddy. I wish you were like a more useful pet. You can get these as pets on the X7s. Oh, I hate to have to kill you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You see mostly his butt, unfortunately, which isn't his best feature. There you go. You can harvest him for a skeleton key. It's a world boss. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Doo doo. And the war maker. See, a doctor sounds uncomfortable. It does sound uncomfortable. Yeah. These like little rusted doors over here are where you use the keys that you got from the boxes that we were looking at, if you haven't done that before. This guy's annoying. Hi! Don't kick me! We don't kick! The camera like disconnected from my body for a second there. This is a phased fight. He just has a lot of HP. He just has a big AoE on his swing as well, which is kind of obnoxious. But look at him. Getting knocked over is so annoying, isn't it? There's the second phase. He's growing. He's really just bored and misunderstood. He just stands here under this, like, sh shaft of light constantly. It's just really boring for him. Just wants people to play with. The tablets we're going to click on before we leave um, give you the recipe to craft this armor, which is very, very high value armor. Um, and there's a chilled version of it, which is incredibly good. And will now, in chapter four, give you full protection in the volcano. Uh, at least in most areas. I can't remember. I might have to watch the blood back from that. But yeah, it seems to do better than it used to. I mean, that time to kill is pretty good, isn't it, really? Like, as you'd expect with a max level thrall. There you go. He drops a few of these different weapons. Destroyer and, like, there's a two-handed sword as well. Um, 79 damage and 45% armor pen. That's really good, isn't it, actually? Compared to what it used to be, it's cursed. So, it... it's going to apply it to enemies, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, to me. There you go, there you go. Okay, because it's um, corrupted does it to enemies and cursed does it to you. 
just like the hyena helm. So whenever I need to like clear stuff, um, what is it called? Skull? What is it called, people? There's a hyena helmet that also does the same thing. I don't know what it's, can't remember what it's called, but it's one thing that I usually spawn in if I want to do some, um, if I want to cull resources and I need to be corrupted. Oh my god, she looks scary. She's so scary. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So let's use a heart of a hero to clear that. it does the whole job at once. Okay, so you want to take the scraps from him as well really, which we've done. Great. And then tablets is the way out. Click on both the tablets. You'll learn a bunch of recipes. Uh, how to make his armor. Oh, we didn't click on the arena champions um, tablet, did we? Because I was too busy running away. Um, but you can learn the arena champions armor from clicking on a tablet near her. I have like a guide to this place. And uh, because we clicked on those tablets, now we can craft that armor that he is wearing. He was wearing, um, and then you can also make the master weapon fitting, bulk plating, all the best um, weapon mods and tool mods, uh, like end game stuff. A apart from the oils of, like, the oils that you can make, but I never bother with the oils. You can learn from the city. Oh, do you have any desires for chapter four? What do you mean, like, do I have any particular plans for what I'm going to do, or... Um, what, what do you mean? Anything that I'm particularly, like, looking forward to, or whatever. That always tickles with the nonchalance thing of enemies, I think, the only time she gets slightly cautious. The arena champion, yeah, yeah, that's it. She's, like, she excites me. Uh, she's kind of scary. I think you would like Chapter 4 to include... Are you talking about the age, the next age? Because I know everything that's in Chapter 4. Uh, I'd like it if the bearers didn't get nerfed, personally. Um, uh, what else? I would like it if the... Uh, like, I'm looking forward to... Because I'm sure they will get them sorted. But I'm, sure, I'm looking forward to testing out all the things that currently have placeables from the, um, the events. Uh, but I'm going to do a solo series. Um, I'm going to restart the solo series that I started and kind of uh, abandoned in chapter three because of the combat being so poopy oh next age you're talking about next age so we're having a chapter four and then there's another age i see a, a next age is anything i want um i mean the things that i want in the game i don't think we'll get um i would like you know boats for sitter i would like dragon pets um, I want more dungeons. I want another map. Uh, well, dungeons and another map I think we could have definitely have. I'd like an Unreal Engine 5 upgrade. Um, I just want like more content. I definitely don't want addition by subtraction. I don't want, you know, nerfs which feel kind of, you know, unnecessary to most people. I don't want my thralls dying. I would like the uh, down but not out uh, that they talked about to be added to the next stage. Um, so that we don't have to worry so much about our thralls dying. Hi there. Um, unarmed fatalities would be kind of cool. Bow fatalities would be cool. Um, but yeah, just like more like map events and things. And this trend of adding things to Sipta that they've had this, this like beta for chapter four. That'd be really good, wouldn't it? Like adding stuff that comes onto the Exiled Lands in an event, definitely onto Sipta. How about you guys? Anna, Anna, Briella, Q, Bond, music. <laughs> Anna, Anna Briella. It wouldn't mean Briella, Anna Briella. Um, submitted idea to Funcom to add canoes. Yeah, I don't know if they'll. I don't know if they'll add anything to do with water because I think they've said in the past that water kind of just creates a load of issues with like coding. Um, so, but I would like it if they would rebuild this game in Unreal Engine Five, and. Um, and I'd like another map. I'd like it if we could transfer to Sipta from here as well. Uh, I think if they add a bunch of the stuff, the stuff that's like, the stuff that makes Sipta pay to win by having server transfers, if they could just resolve that and give us the things in in this map, then it would be really nice to kind of travel back and forth between Sipta and Exxon Lands. Yeah, exactly. Briella and Briella, that's it. 
Um, how about you guys? What do you want adding yeet? Yeah, more random events might be nice to come across a group of students. Yeah, roaming people. I've had a lot of people saying that, like, uh, roaming enemies and things like that. Definitely. Roger, Roger, yeah. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for hanging out. I'm going to go eat that lovely curry that um, RPG sent me. Thank you so much, lovely. 100% sips at Nexars. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We want to be able to travel back and forth again. Um, more towns and vendors, yeah. Yep. Map expansions or... Um, but definitely more dungeons, like just more content, really. Definitely. Increase in difficulty on the night, guys, they're adding. Yes, definitely. Only having one uh, or having some kind of regional difficulty, I think, would be good. So you could avoid it if you didn't want to. Thank you, everybody, so much. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate you all. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully slightly more rested than I was today. And uh, yeah, see you very soon. Enjoy your games.